All right, all right. Hope everybody is doing well. Happy Wednesday. Let's bring in my guest today. Je <laughs> Thank you for the sticker. Appreciate that. <laughs> uh, Jess and Danny, ladies and gentlemen, what is up, motherfuckers? How are What's you? What's up? Woo! Ooh. I brought a dog hey. for good measure. Yeah. Hey, hey. Little good measure, dog. Uh, two things to get out of the way real quick. We got two follows while we were gone. Neko Tiki Sawa, thank you for the follow. And it's Akira, thank you for the follow. Akira! Appreach, appreach. That's so, appreach, bro. what's up, chat? J Dub, what's up? Booty Sweat, what's up? Um, let's talk about last night, shall we? <laughs> the famous last words. So, Sorry, this dumbass over there, Dashma, decided to invent a game where we rolled a d20 with, it's got every, almost every letter of the alphabet, obviously, and we decided to make um, shots associated with each letter, and we would just roll that and do it. And okay. we did it. And it was uh, not good. How terrible, did you feel, terrible, how did you feel this idea. morning? You know, I honestly am surprised. I, was, I thought I was going to be way more hungover. I definitely didn't didn't feel great. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't it wasn't as bad as I thought. I definitely did not want to get up this morning. I was I was going to get up and like cook chicken wings and do all kinds of shit this morning. I was going to be like, ah, three hours of sleep is fine. It's like, yeah. nope. I fucking stayed in bed till almost noon. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, our first <clears throat> shot was what the fuck did we roll the first one? Oh, proper teas. And then we went to Rumplements. Like, what the fuck? You made a tar? We, yeah, we went. Well, no, we, it's just a, it's a, it's a twenty-sided die, and it has letters on it. So whatever letter it pops up it corresponds to a list of shots. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it was, and we just kept rolling like hundred-proof shit. It was just like I know Rumplements. You snake apple. bites. <laughs> yeah. If you roll a D, it stands for double, and we have to do a double. You roll again, you do a double, double of whatever that is. Sentence. Yeah. It was, and then we were, by the time, there was one on there that was just nothing, and one is water. So, like, did you ever get we, we got one. We got one that was water, and we're like, nah, fuck that, roll again. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Speaking of, I'm going to hydrate before we get into this. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's a good Yeah, idea. there's only I, one way to start hydrate. Yeah. the Let's Rage podcast is with a shotgun, motherfuckers, so let's get right into it. Let's get it rolling. You can do one of these if you want, or you can take a shot, or you can do whatever you want, really. Well, I am the Jameson queen, so let me just Master go. of Jameson. <laughs> you did get challenged on Facebook, uh, fucking Joey that used to... Uh, I've seen that. Just because he did, I think he did six in a row, or maybe he did... I've had six before we started, so I'm already winning. Yeah. <laughs> See, there's a there's a certain there's a certain level of alcoholism where you do shotgun sitting down. Like, that's, <laughs> I mean, I that's a certain level. <laughs> let's do let's do no, I'm gonna do shot. Should I do a shot? Do it's a up shot. to you. You can do a shotgun if you want. I have a towel. J Dub, what case. color would you like, sir? Sammy literally you went can't through see two anything. towels it's too dead. because she soaked herself and everything around her trying to do shotguns. She got started getting good at it after like four or five. <laughs> oh, if I'm gonna need practice for that, well, I can do both. I don't. <laughs> I don't want a color. You know what I want? I'm not DJing your Christmas party. God damn it! <laughs> All right, cheers, My everybody. Will be fine. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, green for grass? <laughs> you can't even fucking see the lights. Well, I need to get a cover over this this window. Yeah. It has started, Indeed. ladies and gentlemen. All right, first question of the day. Would you rather marry the most boring person you've ever met or the most intense and aggressive person? Because one's going to be fun a lot, I think but that's also crazy. My marriage now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're not completely wrong. I swear, I swear it's exactly what's happening right now. Oh shit! I Epic broke the Denver. door down. It's in my living room right now. Oh man, <laughs> Epic Denver, John thank you for the pizza. five months. J Dub, thank you for the six months. Appreciate well. you guys. We're getting closer to that forty. Thank you guys. Uh, yeah, I, I would probably. You know what? My marriage was also probably one of the most intense people that I've met so I mean it was fun but it was a lot of crazy <laughs> yeah I'm a lot of crazy I get it Poor are John. you a lot of crazy oh shit epic Denver's got a girlfriend hell yeah bro she's Good for smart you. 
Is, is she a robot? <laughs> Is she, yeah, I was gonna say, is, she <laughs> is she one of those AI bots? <laughs> she talks back. I changed the uh, I changed the AI because you know how Snapchat has that AI bot on it now that you can't get rid of. I changed. You can change like the name of it. And say, Should I change this name to Hitler? <laughs> <laughs> he says she has a pussy, so I don't think so. You can get real looking fucking uh robots, she has a puppy so. so i don't think so <laughs> yeah a robot could never own a puppy she has a cat what's its name that's not a cat that's a dog <laughs> no i think j-dub is referring to a pussy oh oh okay what mm -hmm. did you name it <laughs> that's your question mm -hmm. well congratulations epic denver i'm happy for you um yeah good for you love bud. is good um all right so back to the question <laughs> sorry what are the benefits of marrying somebody that's boring? They handle your crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a lot of people talk about like how that like that's how people like a, a good dynamic for a marriage is someone who's like really conservative and someone who's really outgoing together because they balance each other out. However, I don't think that's just fully always true. Some two It also depends on your dynamic as as people and as friends and as a couple like a lot goes into that. I left my house the other day and I said, "Babe, you're not getting a blowy, but I am going to go get us some breakfast and I'll come back with some champagne and we're going to have a great day. I came back with none of those things, but I did come back with a bird. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, was about to, I was about to say, that's compromised. That's nice no. until you finish the story. <laughs> so, and I'm still married. If I was also married to an intense he gets it. person. He gets like, it, though. And I still have the bird. The bird's still alive. That's great. So, yeah, John didn't eat it. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't bring back food, but this isn't enough for us. It's a parakeet. <laughs> it's not... Uh, Epic Denver says if they're born, they won't leave or cheat. It's not necessary, necessarily true that if the person's crazy that they will cheat, though. That's true. I'm yeah, some I'm people home. are just really <laughs> intense in the way that they do everything. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of what this is saying. Like, I think the actual originally when the, when we read the question, I think it said most intense and demanding, not most intense and. Uh, yeah, aggressive. I just couldn't fit any more words in there, so I chose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you definitely intense. did this for me then, because I am a very intense, demanding person. <laughs> I thought John locked me in the room. I was just pushing the door the wrong way, so I broke the entire fucking door down. Like the door is in my I living room you right and, now. <laughs> you, and, you and John's dynamic is you're both intense and demanding. <laughs> And you just decide, okay, we're just gonna do this to each other forever. <laughs> we, we went to bed together after that. You like, know? I can put up with this. It wasn't like you kicked the door down. He was like, I'll buy one tomorrow. And then, like, we went to bed. <laughs> so I can see him yeah. doing that. Like, I'll buy one tomorrow. Oh, you, <laughs> you should tell the story about how he almost blew Caleb's head off. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's two, hear this. We have two shotgun holes in our ceiling fan, or in our ceiling. <laughs> one was mine because I thought I was like, quit draw McGraw and I was like I got a new gun so I'm like John show me so he had his don't die <laughs> <laughs> I had mine mine was loaded his wasn't and I was like John I get it and I picked up the loaded gun I just fucking shot it the thing went right past his ear whizzed and <laughs> it went through the ceiling and that was a scary Fuck. moment for all of us fucking thought hell. that we were done with guns in the house right well we weren't so <laughs> Then now John brings out his shotgun, and he's like, I know what I'm doing, and he does the whole fucking thing, blows right through the ceiling, and it's buckshot, so this, the freaking hole's this big. Now we can see inside of our, you know, attic. And he blew the the wires to the ceiling fan. So <laughs> there's no more ceiling fan or light in that room either. It's still there. I just drew a smiley face around it. Remember, kids, if you're gonna play with guns, also drink alcohol. <laughs> Thank God I oh, never went to any of your parties. <laughs> uh, Nitro stinks Chris. all the whole. Oh, that's a uh, car bomb, Chris. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, Epic Denver your... said, "Don't bring up the snaps from today. You just went shooting. We're not gonna bring up the other one." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, there was. It's either it's either uh, shooting shooting guns into the ceiling or feeding pizza to alligators over at your house. Yeah, what is wrong with you, <laughs> fucking dummies, man? Stop doing that. <laughs> I get on Caleb's ass all the time. I'm like, I'm like, you're we you're a fucking idiot. Strong. Stop. You lose yeah, a fucking hand. Now they're getting big, so now we're like, okay, I don't want to be a friend anymore. <laughs> you were cute when you're like two to three feet, and now I'm like, you're I'm gonna be me. Like now you that you're nine it? feet, I don't really want to <laughs> so put my hand down there. You don't do it no more. 
I can say that there was one time this kid skinned an alligator with a pocket knife on my dog. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. Oh, he's dead now, so. Yeah. The alligator, too. <laughs> yeah, obviously. I mean, if he skinned him and was still alive, that would freak me out a little bit. I'm talking about the kid that did it. <laughs> no, I know, I know. I know you said that, but you said and the alligator. <laughs> Imagine seeing a skinned alligator walking towards you. Oh like, that would be the most <laughs> nightmarish <laughs> shit. That's like a shaved yeah, yeah. bear. You seen that? Dude, oh, no. shave the bears. I used to have a t-shirt design for, uh, for that a long time ago. The bear deer. Jess, you've never seen a shaved bear? No. Oh my I God, it's terrifying. I'm going to show you up. right now. PD, pull that up. Are you serious? <laughs> this is the scariest thing in the world. I wonder where it's going to go. I'm going to have to move you guys over. This happens every time. Boom, boom, boom. That... This is what a shaved bear looks like. Oh God, no! <laughs> that looks fucking like terrifying. It's a, pre <laughs> it's a prehistoric pussy, man. That that looks. <laughs> that, yeah. That's so scary. It I mean, literally look looks like some fucking chimera ass shit, dude. It does kind of look like a chimera. I love how they left like the hair around his head a little bit. Yeah, I gave him a little mane. <laughs> say, and it's like a little on the boob area. Actually, this this picture, uh, this specific one, this is the one everybody uses as an, as an example for this. What? But this is actually a bear with extreme mange. Oh, really? So its its hair has fallen off. Its skin has gotten like really it, it fucked up. Uh, you know what mange is, right? Yeah. yeah. Like dogs can get it. Any, pretty much any mammal can Don't get it. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> but that's actually not a bear that was shaved. It just has mange, and for some reason didn't lose its hair. It's like, I don't know. Is it's got the whole Hugh Jackman deal shave? going on. Huh? Like, why do they shave bears just for this? <laughs> <laughs> is there a company out there? I don't like, know. We'll shave your bear. <laughs> I don't know if people shave the bears, but we should definitely shave the bears. <laughs> like, come on. Sh shave the bears. It's a perfect um, play on words, shavers. dude. Come on. Let's do another shotgun, shall we? Shave them all bare. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're five minutes Almost got rid of the shakes. This. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this, the pace of this podcast can get a little bit... Uh, oh, listen, let's go down together, guys. Aggressive. Real trap shit. It's real okay, trap shit. Play so it, play it, play it. I am going to do this. I'll all get right. you, boy. Let me set this By the way, quick. big shout out to Dashma for making this uh, beautiful this sound right? bite for the podcast. Right? This part? You want me to do this part for you? Yeah. My man. Oh, thank you, sir. Always the artist. Oh, man. I just pushed oh, the buttons. Did He's I... the genius behind Why it. Why does everybody... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do it yet. <laughs> well, I don't want it on me. Uh, it's probably going to get on you. It's Here. getting on me. Why is, is it upside it? down? The re it's not. This is actually you're <laughs> supposed to do it. Everybody <laughs> says that. I feel like I will tell you. If everyone I will tell you that I never have done it the way you taught me before. Like, I've done a thousand shotguns before I met you, but Once like. Once you learn how to do it the other way, it's so much easier. I will still. <laughs> She's I, calling I, it like a hot dog. I or do. I, I do want to talk about this <laughs> after like we do this, though, because I have a question. Keep, keep it like that. There's an air bubble. Okay. So if you have the ass so up, it's it won't going leak. straight to the back of the throat. Watch. Like, okay. Don't go when I use my thumb. Or lick this. Instead of my finger. Aww. See how I got it, got it like this? Steely Mickey. No, I don't. I don't. This is gonna be. Right? We're gonna clip the I'm shit off, out of this, by the way. You're gonna drink out of the hole, Jess. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm she ready. was gonna drink out of the the top. <laughs> yeah. That gets. All right. That can get dangerous. Good luck, everybody. Put it all the way up and then pop it. Ready? I'm ready. Cheers. Ah, uh, yeah, baby. I think so much in my nose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that knock actually got me because my sister's uh, staying with me this week, so. <laughs> you fucking assholes. I'll be right back, actually. Thanks for the towel really looking ahead. <laughs> Akira, what's up? Hey, Mimi. Don't judge me. I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to shut the door. She's probably like, shut the fuck up, Steve. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe I didn't finish it. Um, yeah, yeah. See, but at least you oh, admitted here. it and you, and you owned up and you, you finished it, it up. It wasn't good. You don't have a bag in there. That's a good Cheers, Akira. Move. And also, thank you. It's fine. Thank I, you for the follow. It gets filled up so quick, it's a waste of a bag. I swear. I need a like full size trash can down there. Akira. <laughs> Say hi. Juliet. Say. Pew, pew, pew. One, one of them. Proper. <laughs> Look, we got um, you a towel. Just kidding. It's for me. <laughs> Oh, she's digging that, though. <laughs> she's like, yes, blanky. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, we ready for question blanket. dose? 
We ready. All right, so I'm gonna show you a, I think I got 16 photos here of different types of people. <laughs> and I want you guys to guess what they would order at the bar. Ready? Oh, this is made for me. This is perfect, <laughs> isn't it? Regular ass white dude. Bush light. Hey. Oh, disrespectful. Oh, damn. <laughs> light but then ever since that advertisement came out they come up and they're like well i would get a bud light but now i'm gonna get a miller light yeah now he is Definitely wearing a polo that. he's wearing a light blue polo i would say whatever his girlfriend drinks <laughs> this one this one's two things he's either gonna order a bud light anyways or he's gonna be like what ipas do you have oh there you go Booty sweat says fireball. You think he, this guy drinks fire, double whiskey on the rocks? No. I don't think that guy drinks double whiskey. By the way, on the rocks. I'm not drinking bush light. I'm drinking bush heavy. That's because you ain't a normal white dude. <laughs> Damn it, I'm drinking I, bush light. <laughs> I, think, I think he's going to order whatever his girlfriend does. We'll have two vodka cranberries. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, he does look like a vodka cran. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, look, he looks does. like an Alan McCoy vodka, vodka cran back in the day. He, he looks like he gets <laughs> off his job, he brings his laptop to the bar, and he's like, one vodka cran, and he sits on it for half an hour. Martini. Fuck you, Epic Demer. This is not me with hair. Do I look I like that? I don't look like that. No, Actually, I've I do have that butt chin. <laughs> you do have a butt chin and dimples. <laughs> That's do the I... cute version of you, though. I have Thank dimples? God you don't wear a polo. Don't you? I don't think I have dimples. Do you? Smile, Steve. Yeah, you have fucking. Oh no, you have like laugh line dimples. Yeah, I have stressed out <laughs> face dimples. Okay, Don't we all? Local, local IPAs. IPAs. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Central <laughs> Twenty Eight. Where are you at? <laughs> By the way, all these are stock photos, so they're gonna have those lines on the fucking thing on them. I love how everybody at Shots is like, oh, I'll have a show pigeon. I'm like, we have only carried upriver for over a year. They just still say show pigeon on the thing, and they don't know the difference. There's, they I'm, don't care. See? The That's why it's fucking you. bullshit. Inside it says upriver. Outside it says show pigeon. Oh, yeah, it's, it's all just upriver yeah. is all we have. <laughs> llama llama ding dong. What's up? Welcome back in. Also, fuck all you people who think that you, like, oh, I only drink Bud Light or I only drink Mick Ultra because for six months straight, the Bud Light and the Mick Ultra at shots were switched. <laughs> yes. I'm letting the secret out. I love it because I work there and I'm giving it to people like, here you go. <laughs> they don't fucking know the difference. That's like piss spooky, beer dude. Is piss beer, baby. <laughs> love you too, llama mama ding dong. <laughs> oh, that's uh, Stephanie. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You would be llama llama ding dong. <laughs> Alan was saving big money on discount. Gay fluid, is that what it was? Is that, is that what the uh, butt spot? Butt spot in the chat. I, I drink, drink your butt. butt. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Butt spot is too. a chat robot that will just replace random words in a random person's chat with the word butt. I love it. For, for Save, a reference. Saving from the patio. All right, let's. Hold on, we spent a long time with this person. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the hippie couple, the the dirty dread couple. IPAs. For sure, IPAs, right? For Liquid sure. marijuanas. Oh, you ain't Ooh. wrong though. They just love to say it. They just like it has nothing to do. It's a terrible yeah, shot. They just is. love to say it. <laughs> do you have anything hip based? <laughs> because they want <laughs> they want a Long Island because they're like I can only afford one drink. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, it's up or it's a, they come in with a jar and like we brought our own hibiscus tea. Can you just put a <laughs> shot of vodka in each one? Yes. <laughs> well, please. Thank you. Oh, well, man. please. Exactly. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> that one's too easy. Orange yeah. tea. Or, or they come in and they order a fuck ton of food because they're high as piss. <laughs> I said, oh, the people who drink liquid marijuana as an actual drink. I hate those people. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here I am with dress looking straight hippie, but let me tell you what. Fuck no. <laughs> Damn, like I sh fuck now that I think about tea. it, I should have thrown in photos of our friends. <laughs> <laughs> That'd have been funny to just have a random picture of Chris. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the uh, classic douchey frat boy guy, spiked hair. <laughs> well, oh god, it's the Hawaiian Friday pullover. <laughs> <laughs> like he just got off work and he's like ready to rage, and then he orders a Miller Lite. <laughs> yeah, that that guy wants a uh, a pitcher of Miller Lite on draft, and he wants four glasses. Yes, 
<laughs> for his buddies. <laughs> Miller, High Miller highlight. <laughs> Let me get a picture of Yingling. Picture of Yingling. Yeah, that's a that's definitely a picture guy. I don't know, um, but him younger would have done Steel Reserve for sure. He's gonna come in and he's gonna ask you how much does this cost? How much does this cost? Yeah. How much does this cost? Because <laughs> he can't afford to go out drinking, but he's doing it anyways. This also <laughs> is the guy from a DJ standpoint that comes up to me saying, "Bro, you gotta play this song. It's gonna get this place so hype." And then I play the song and nobody moves. And I fucking can't people stand like, those people. It's the I'm Beach like, Boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, every time somebody asks me for a song that they say it's going to get this place so fucking hype, I'm just like, listen, bro, I've been doing this for 12 years. I know what to do. Like, You're an idiot. Just leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> can't stand these motherfuckers. The Twitch Prime drink budget. <laughs> oh, my God. Water. <laughs> I'll take a water on the rocks, please. I'll, have, I'll take a water. Does anybody have a dollar? <laughs> I'm trying to play pool. The balls are stuck. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking balls are stuck, bro. All right. I swear I put a dollar in. Yeah, it eats dollars. You gotta put quarters in it. What about this guy? Oh, God. <laughs> Cocaine, for sure. <laughs> He's just in and out of the bathroom the whole time. He's the drug dealer for the bar. He doesn't drink. He's like, I'll get a soda, but I'm gonna make $300 tonight. And you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's on sale? <laughs> this is the guy that asked for the specials. Oh man, he's gonna, yeah. I feel like he's gonna come in and he's gonna order a double crown ginger and bend the straw. And, but not drink And he's gonna barely drink out of it. He's gonna, you're gonna see him walking all over the place in and out of the bathroom. He's gonna leave for 25 minutes and come back. Yeah, he's in the parking lot the whole time. He doesn't even need a drink. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, we know somebody that orders a double crown ginger and bends the straw. <laughs> well, you caught well. that, didn't you? <laughs> 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 Ironically, it doesn't a pack of reds. Oh yeah, at all. this is the guy yeah, that orders cigarettes for twenty dollars for a pack of reds. Yeah, exactly. He's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the guy that comes every in every color of shot shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because they don't even look alike, but the personality just it's you know it's this, you know it's there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He's from a trailer though. <laughs> yeah, this guy's from a trailer <laughs> though. A, tra a pack of reds. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely the guy who orders a pack of cigarettes at the bar. The buy one, get one guy. <laughs> Do you bogo? Hey, Credo, what's up? I forgot my t-shirt sleeve. Oh, poor Steve. De so... oh, fucking, not Derek. Credo Epic Derek. Denver, stop making fun of me. I don't look like any of these Hi. guys. Yeah. What's up, Derek? That sucks, not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had to work tonight. Wait, what? I had to work tonight. It's, it is tonight. Oh, is tonight for you daytime because you stay up all night? <laughs> <laughs> you like Zaxby's. Sorry, I had to gas you up. Zaxby's is good. Jess, what do you think of Zaxby's? I've had Zaxby's once, and it's only because we had a car wash there when I was like 12. So. <laughs> God damn it. I'm moving on then. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, forget I said anything. Yeah, all right. I'm working now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, she, she's already drunk. She's bored. Yeah, yes. she came in on pills and her fucking yep, boyfriend yep. hit her. <laughs> she's the one at the bar who I just met, actually. <laughs> and she's the one at the bar telling you about how she's living on her mom's couch now because her boyfriend hit her. <laughs> and they have two See? kids. Listen, we're, we're not talking about their backstory. We want to know what they're drinking. <laughs> She couldn't drink anymore. She, she's gonna get she's gonna get one uh, one um, like mixed drink of some sort. Random doesn't matter what mixed drink it, it is because she's not gonna drink it. She's gonna no, fall asleep no, no. at the bar. She's so, somebody ban Chalky Milky Mama. Buying her. Ban Chalky oh, yeah, Milky Mama. Ban her. She's buying what anyone ban is this one because she oh, said Zach. Get over the Zach thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she's she's getting what anyone is gonna get her. So she's like, yep. oh, what are you drinking? I'll she's buy walking you. around yeah. hanging on motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Yep. What are you offering? Dude, that fucking girl from, uh, she was there last night. You got to know who I'm talking about. She was fucking like, all those guys were fucking <laughs> surrounding her. You know who I'm talking about? The, the Spanish girl? Last night? Yeah, last night she was there. She was also there the night before on Monday night too. All right, uh, no, because I was shit faced. <laughs> <laughs> it was the ABCs of the fucking liquor for me. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, she was doing that same thing, like just fucking enter entertaining a bunch of dweebs to try to get free drinks. It's fucking gross. That shit happens so often. 
And it's funny, too, to see the guys that are like, oh, yeah, I'll get you whatever you want. You want a shot? Yeah, I'll get it for you. Yeah. Uh, Cat Hunt Gaming, the, the, there was a whole contingency. We were going to do the podcast on my stream, but Steve ended up deciding we're, we're, we're good and don't, we came back. Don't listen to Steve back. when he's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> he posted that after he left the bar last night. <laughs> It's he because had, of that game we were talking about it. earlier. You might have missed it. We were, we played a game earlier mm -hmm. or last night that was not a good. It, I came up with a drinking game and it was not a good idea. Check back on YouTube this Saturday. <laughs> hey, that's right. Yeah, thinking they actually have a chance, bumps. I wonder if there has been a moment where a guy has been buying girl uh, buying a girl drinks all night and she gets this sloppy, and they take her home. Like, is is that bad news or good news? Like, you know Listen. what I mean? Like. If you know, if you have any game at all, you know you cannot get a girl too drunk if you want to take her home because That's then true. she's just gonna pass out on your car, and then you just have, then you're just responsible for a body. Or I know. That's passed out. Because like, I listen to a lot of murder podcasts. And this is <laughs> God so, damn it, Jess. <laughs> it literally <laughs> it gave me a Charlie horse. Or not, uh, fucking like, they got a girl so cramp. drunk because she couldn't find her house, and then they were like, "Oh, I'm just gonna kill you instead." Oh my. God, what the fuck? Yeah, it's a good one, actually. Do I, I, I do have a story about... Or she uh, pukes all over your car. Fair enough, that too. Yeah, when when oh, Booty Spot said that, I do have a story. I took a girl uh, home from the bar one time and <clears throat> didn't realize how shit-faced she was, and she ended up just puking the entire night, and I'm like, God damn it, now I have to babysit somebody when I thought I was going to have fun. <laughs> yep. You get the opposite if you do that. That's why, like... I don't like, I don't really, I don't take girls home from the bar, but cause I don't like, I'm not trying to like, you know what I mean? If I, if I'm interested in someone, they'll know it. You yeah. know what I mean? You want them to be interested too. It, it, I'm, I don't take girls home from the bar anymore. Cause it's this whole game of, of like, I, I'm not buying you drinks. First of all, like, I'm not going to sit here not and just buying buy, your love. I'm not going to sit that's here right. and, fuck and that. buy you drink, buy you drinks for the reason that I want to fuck you. That's not how, that's not. Yeah. I'm not buying shit. drinks. I'm only buying my We're friends drinks. <laughs> yeah. So I'm saying all, all my extra budget for drinks are for Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I can't afford to buy anybody I mean, else drinks. It's basically the same thing as, like, drugging a girl or clubbing her over the head. Like, yeah, right? That's like your, it feels that's weird. your version of getting, like, laid, then you're, like, It does. And, like, don't, and also, don't get me wrong. I know people are going to talk shit about me. I have definitely done the whole, let's, like, get a, me and a girl get super drunk at a bar and we go home and fuck, and, or we go home and she pukes in my car. Like, that's definitely happened to me, but this is why I know that I don't do it anymore. Like, I learned from you live and you learn, right? <laughs> You live we and you it. learn. Okay, uh, you high five. Booty Sweat just sent me a whisper. I know who you're talking about now. I thought you were just doing this. <laughs> Thank you, Booty Sweat. Uh, yeah, he let me know who you guys are talking about. I know exactly who you're talking about now. The girl that was there last night and Monday. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking yep. obnoxious. Yeah. I, I, so meet, obnoxious. I, meet her, I meet her boyfriends all the time. I don't know if you remember. <laughs> I don't know if you remember, but I was just talking mad shit to her all night last night <laughs> i got a little i got a little aggressive not like in a bad way just she would just like she was being annoying so everything she would say she'd be like hey i'd be like what she's like can you do this i'm like no and i just walk away yeah that was <laughs> something one of... that i obviously could do like can i get a water because she got super fuck like this drunk you know what i mean when yeah. they're doing that sleeping and she'd be like <laughs> can i get another drunk. water i would just say no every time i go make it afterwards and give it to her but i just told her no to piss her off <laughs> over and over again <laughs> i love this when people are I love man, telling too, people no is one of my up. favorite things because I'm such a yes, like yes man. You know what I mean? Oh, I know. I'm a people pleaser. <laughs> I'm a people pleaser. I love to like make people happy. I love to satisfy people. I, lo I like. I'm a giver. So like, I'm practicing this new version of me where I just tell people no all the time. <laughs> Not gonna lie. And it feels amazing. <laughs> it's like peeling a layer of the onion of life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was profound. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're drinking. I'm gonna get real profound. <laughs> you know, ogres are like onions. <laughs> I heard. Shout out Overstock Comedy. Old biker dude. Bud Light. Jack and Coke. <clears throat> what if they're wearing Probably their both, leather? Actually. Yeah. What if they're wearing <laughs> a Bud Light and a Jack and Coke? He's on a bike. He came with 13 of his buddies. Yep. yep. They're all in the same tab. One of them's going to start a fight. <laughs> they're wearing, yeah. They're ready for a. Uh, they all want different versions of. And like and one of their wives also fucks one of the other guys. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <They're> swinging. 
I love how this turned into not just what they drink. <laughs> Something else is swinging other than that beer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't eat pineapples, but they sure do like them. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> usually beer, right? For the for the biker dudes. It's always beer. I feel like it's beer it's and like Jack bite. Daniels. Jack Daniels is like a, a common. Like a beer and a shot. Biker. Yeah, beer and a shot. One bourbon, You're one shot, wrong, one beer. Mama, Lama, ding dong. <laughs> Real life stories of shots. I know. I feel like we're just like, yeah. We're finding somebody that looks like that that comes in the shots and explaining their life. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Often. I didn't realize this was going to turn for into that. This guy has about 15 others that look just like him. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then, yeah. It's like Santa Claus it's wannabe. Like with, man. All the, with all the beard and glasses, you ca almost can't even I tell them know. apart. It's Are like he Asians. White Claw. So, I mean, that really fucks <laughs> up. A, a, that puts a wrench in it. There's, wrench there in the there car, are anomalies. Yeah. There are anomalies here. <laughs> Steven Dashma, have you been taking the D3 combo and has it worked for you guys? I, I stopped have not. I didn't order. I didn't order my <laughs> I didn't second take round it. of it. So, my uh, <laughs> my penis is just gonna be the way it is forever. <laughs> yeah, we were gonna do a, a experiment of these vitamins that are supposed to make your dick grow by like half an inch, but we just oh gave up God. on. Everybody Hennessy. besides Epic Denver gave up Hennessy on it. Hennessy as fuck. Hennessy. Heineken. <laughs> It's uh, he wants Hennessy. He wants a Hennessy or a Heineken, or he's gonna be like, see, a lot of a lot of like Hennessy real like, ass gang, gangster ass people will come in and they or they want something fruity though. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was gonna They'll say. I feel like, like this uh, is a Malibu kind of guy. Can I have a, like a sex on a beach kind of like they want to say the words too. That's my go-to. Like Newport's and Hennessy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Epic Don't Denver. Let Epic Denver. Answer this question. <laughs> <laughs> And he had a pregnant wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's still drinking. I didn't hear about Oh drink my that. god. <laughs> hey, don't. Oh not quite any. man, this. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> this for me is also. <laughs> this for me is also the guy that wants me to uh, upload his backing track so he could rap his own shit on karaoke. Ugh. This is the guy sitting next to Miles. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say that. <laughs> 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 Yeah, he, he, he's like, yeah, my, Miles recorded my, my music video. You can find me on SoundCloud because I can't get my album anywhere else. <laughs> Miles is like, I made a bunch of money off this guy. Fuck him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this music shit. Uh, all right. Miles is all about that bread, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Got a mad respect for Miles. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, Credo says, and then drop your mic and get kicked out. Oh, I know, dude. That shit pisses me off more than anything. If there's only one way for me to go from zero to a hundred as far as angry, it's fucking with drop the, the mic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or stumble into my shit. Pencils. Next time That's someone right, drops a can't. mic, I'm, next time someone drops a mic, I'm gonna hammer fist them with a roll of quarters <laughs> in my hand. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. The drunk birthday party girl um, group. Lemon drops. <laughs> 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 and I was about to say it, but you said it better. Dude, I lemon see this group come in, and I immediately just go start cutting lemons. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Refill the sugar. <laughs> I hate it. Taylor Swift. Can we get a lemon drop, please? Five of them, maybe six. Babe, did you want one, too? Yeah, as you're making them, and they then, keep adding them. Okay, yeah. just kidding. Make it ten. Yeah. And then, um, <laughs> by the way, can we get, like, like five fruity drinks? Um... Like, you know, like the ones that you guys make with the, the red sauce. <laughs> oh yeah, my like, god, that was like, what? too perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, I got you. I'm going to put some hot sauce in your drink. <laughs> You're like, oh, you said red sauce. <laughs> Doom, what's up? I just smoked Baby the wrong grinning. end of a cigarette. Noise. You're on our Ouch. level. Do Doom is Duke Cat. <laughs> Duke Cat, my baby. Drop some fucking ghost pepper in there, shit. Yeah. I've been bringing my Carolina Reaper powder and my The End hot sauce to work all the time, just in case anybody wants to fuck around and find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I was being those bitches. Oh, this song is about me. I just wrote the wrong end of a cigarette. <laughs> I think that's my favorite one. 
Okay, but what do you want? Or, or they come up and they don't know what they Oh, want. you are being Because they were 21 kid. yesterday, and they were like, um, so when do you have, like, what specials? Can I see a drink menu? Yeah, they're the ones that want to order something off the list that's out of date with the weird shots on it. Yes, yeah. They're, <laughs> they're the ones that need, they need guidance. Luckily, and I'm pretty sure and that drinks. me and James have trashed all those. <laughs> they suck. There were a few around when I first came back in December. So bad. I was like, we still have these things? Do We don't even make half of these ever, right? And they're like, yeah. And Amber's like, I throw them away every time I see them. Or, no, you know what? There's a couple of the young girls that come in and they want buttery fucking nipples. Buttery nipples, And I'm like, yeah. is this the only one that you learned? Yeah. Like, <laughs> that It can... sticks in their head because it has the word nipple in it yeah, or I something. Like, so. Yeah. I'll get a wet pussy shot. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they want... <laughs> yep. <laughs> Jesus. Dude, I had a fucking uh, guy one time. We we went and installed a um, a sliding glass door in his house. It's him and his wife live there, and they were like, they had this like you could tell they like just like they just drink on the weekends. Had their whole backyard was like, you know fucking coconuts and palm tree themed and they had a bar back there and I was like oh fucking yeah you guys party I, I love I, you know I, I'd, lo I'd love a drink if you got one I always Very say that to customers I'm like they're like you want anything to drink I'm like you got a beer like I say that to customers all the time and they're like oh you should come and uh, you should come and party with us one time we make this shot we call it sex in the driveway I was like I'm sure you do <laughs> <laughs> Matt knows exactly what I'm talking about <laughs> But All right. shots. This guy. <laughs> I want an M and M shot, please. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I've seen so many of these types of people at the bar. He's gonna order a nerd for a nerds for a girl that isn't interested in, I in him. Say, <laughs> I'm it's hard to say. Crown is a good one, actually, and I think you're on point with that one. Because he might crown like a crown peach or a crown apple. Always crown with those kind of guys, but they're always buying shots. For somebody else that's Yep, he drives a white Ford F-250 lifted with uh, uh, HIDs and fucking uh, neons under it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. His no, name is Cock. Call that, me and Matt call that the FBS. It stands for Fuckboy Special. Oh my like, God. They all drive that. They all drive the white Ford F-250, F dude. <laughs> Uh, those are the kind of uh, Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> so I see these guys like four times a day, and I was with four different girls that day. <laughs> uh, Doom, that's a good one too. That's a good assumption too. He drinks a PBR and a peanut butter whiskey shot. <laughs> true. I see a lot of girls doing that though. Yeah, it's I feel like, like I'm a whiskey girl. And then you gotta drink. But I'm like, no, ball. you're not. I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> you're. I don't like anything fucking up my whiskey. Did you like the orange Jameson? You whiskey, like Jameson, whiskey right? is supposed to make you go. And I was like, no. Do that. <laughs> he looks like a girl. <laughs> that's, that's These the days, thing. right? <laughs> what are your pronouns? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I tell you, I I typed in Getty or Getty images. This one I just wrote douche. <laughs> this popped up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like immediately, yep, that's the one. Uh, all right. Fireball doesn't count let's as go whiskey, with the, I uh, know. Indeed. Let's, let's go with the slightly more muscular Vinny. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> okay. This guy wants a Corona with lime. You're I hate him. You're nailing that, yes. He this... wants a Corona and lime. Like, and a Patron shot because he thinks Patron is tequila. <laughs> that's, yeah, we we nailed this one. Yeah, might as well move on. Let's yep. get no cars. <laughs> no he cars, baby. Up, this guy showed up in a crane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Rum and diet butt. <laughs> <laughs> the rum and diet cook is good. This too. is the office black dude. <laughs> Heineken. Um. Yeah. You think I'm so? Going... That's Kurt. That's Kurt. Oh, God, I, I feel like I feel like that. I feel like this guy probably drinks like a like a vodka cran type thing. He's a he's an easy going. He could definitely be. Oh my God. Can you see that on camera? Do you see this fucking dog oh is God. laying on its back like this gonna, asleep? Let me just pull it down a little oh. bit. <laughs> Hold up. Oh my God. I got this. Hold on. Look at this freaking dog. We gotta zoom in for this. Oh. <laughs> fucking adorable. <laughs> Thank you for using my uh, <laughs> my shotgun towel as your new blanket. Yeah. <laughs> I feel real comfortable. It smells like mom. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> 
so perfect. I love it. But yeah, this guy, he's either going to be drinking maybe a tequila sunrise. I feel like I could see him asking for that. Or yeah, a fruity margarita. drink or a margarita. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, definitely a margarita. That's a good one. I see. Well, we I know he, we know he's not tipping. We're not. We're not <laughs> okay. All right. Move <laughs> on. Move on. Yeah. We're moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. <A> professional Asian. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't have plum wine, do you? <laughs> Actually, is there some sake in the building? No. Yeah. Um, I was. I would go with white wine. Ooh, yeah. White, white wine? Even... Yeah, that's a yeah, good one. I would go with white wine. Yep. Chardonnay, yeah. baby. White wine is probably, yeah. She knows, yep. she knows. <laughs> white wine, maybe every once in a while, she'll come in after a real bad office day and just do one straight shot of vodka and then go to the white wine. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a Grey Goose or a Kettle One. Yeah, she's top shelf for sure. Yeah. Yeah. After... She'll come in and be like, what kind of Chardonnays do you have? And we're like, we, like, Ugh, we suck have her home. <laughs> And they're like, mm, all right, I'll do your vodka, please. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, she's after three wines. She's like, I'm going to sing karaoke. Yeah. I want to be ninja. I want to be ninja. <laughs> oh, God damn and it. And she puts ice in it. Yeah, you're right, dude. <laughs> you are out. Oh, now. God. Let me just do the under here. Just make it that much. By the way, I know a lady that looks almost exactly like this. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. Well, excuse me. I want to take a picture of my dog. I feel like this, there's only. Like, this is like gotta be a red wine lady, right? Oh, she's yeah. red wine all day. From the margarita, lipstick, red wine. Red wine or red gin wine. and tonic. Yes, yep. that's a gin good and one. tonic, margarita, all those are perfect. Can I get yep. a Tom Collins? A, Tom, a Manhattan <laughs> or an old fashioned? <laughs> yes, I'm like, it's shots, honey. It's all yeah. pretty much all we have. She wants a fucking dirty, dirty, dirty martini and she asks for extra Ooh, olives. Dirty martini is a good Dude, one. Dude, Doom, Doom is right. She drinks Bud Light with ice in it. We we knew some people that oh, uh, worked at O'Leary's. i too. Did I ever tell you the story? There were people, uh, old people that were coming to O'Leary's. I know who you're talking about. I worked at O'Leary's with you for a little while, Steve. Yeah, no, I know, I know. But do you remember they would bring in the thermometer and they would temp uh -huh. the beer? Yeah, And if it wasn't annoying. cold enough, they would throw ice in it. <laughs> fucking psychos, dude. Yeah. Old people. That's, oh yeah, people. Matt worked there too. I forgot. Yeah, Everybody yeah, worked. We exactly. all worked at the same bars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. We talked. Mm -hmm. Was it last podcast we were talking about Chelsea Burke, oh, or was God. it the one before that? Uh, Hurry up I don't and remember. die. <laughs> you said it, not us. Matt. Jesus. <laughs> I'm ready for a shot. Excuse me. So. Bloody yeah, shot. At 11 a.m. Yeah, that makes sense too. Let's do a shotgun. <laughs> but yeah, that's it's time. We've we've waited too long. I'm gonna do a shotgun and a shot of that Jameson. I'm here for you. <laughs> you always did get me. Hey, hey booty sweat. Oh, I was. So Slapping I'm ready with him. mine. Also, hold on. Hey, <laughs> switch blades, baby. <laughs> it's not really. But... You're like I have it in I, a shot. So, so I got a funny story about this. I was in TSA. And they pulled me aside. Try. They pressed me the whole nine yards, finger in the butt. Just kidding. But like, it was because of this. Yeah. And then she opened it, and she goes, you know, maybe you should pull this out before you go through TSA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't keep like, it in your boot. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bottle opener when I keep one on me. You know? Gotta have one, you know what I'm saying? You're like, I'm about to get some drinks on the plane, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be prepared. You know that's funny. I've flown like a decent amount, but I've never had, I've never drank on a plane. I haven't flown since uh, since I've been 21. Oh yeah, well that's a, I can't fly sober. That's I wouldn't now. <laughs> if I get on a plane now, I'm gonna take a Xanax and drink 17 Jacks. <laughs> oh, double gin and tonic on the beer for me. I'm that there you lady. Go. Ooh, fucking I fucking airplane. love gin. I love gin and tonic. You're one of the only people know. that fuck with gin like I do. I like gin. Hey. I can't fly drunk. I don't know how you guys do that. Like I I feel like in in situations where shit could really go bad, I have to be sober. Like concerts. I understand that. And Why? So plane. you can be sober and watch yourself die? No, that way I, I have a better no. chance of surviving, you fucking asshole. Cheers, babe. No, I get that. But like if the apocalypse was coming, I'd want to be sober. But if like the plane's going down, I want to be hammered. <laughs> You're telling me you want to skydive sober? Yeah, you have yeah, to. You I'm have not. to skydive sober. They won't let you skydive if you're drunk. If the plane's falling, you don't have to. <laughs> There's always that video of the sky, the <clears throat> porn <clears throat> skydiving on town. The what? What? <clears throat> no, I still haven't done that yet. 
Yeah, I know. So he's a confusing hippie. That's yes. my dad. <laughs> Hi, dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I love it. You gotta say it again. <laughs> Doors open when girls are in the house. What's up? Oh, you oh well, that's a bummer. Oh, all right. <laughs> Doors unlocked when the girls are in the room. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't lock my door anyways. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> 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 All right, a good-looking dude. But you this know, one confuses kinda... me because he's like a he's like an ex successful hippie. <laughs> yeah, so, right. It's strange. I'm like, he's like, I'm in I tech, bro. I do tech. <laughs> I work I'm for Google. Tech. Listen, he's either in tech or he's a carpenter. I still Ooh. get I still get corona That's vibes true. from this guy. Like a finished I... like a Finnish carpenter that just does like trim yeah, around fancy Daddy. like Put windows a funnel and in my rear and uh, let's chug some alcohol. Uh, you know how to fill me up. Jesus I got Christ. D, D on the mind, sorry. Uh Doom just dropped a uh text speech. Thank you for the three hundred bits by the way. Let's go, Daddy, put a yeah. funnel in my rear and let's chug some alcohol. You know how to fill me up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Doom. This is the guy talking to your girlfriend. <laughs> this guy, this oh, guy drinks yes. sweet water. This guy drinks sweet water 420. You're right. Oh yeah, Definitely for sure. Sweet water 420. Yep. Do you or no? Do you have the G? The G13, G13 haze or whatever. <laughs> do you have the weed beer? Yeah. yeah would be he fantastic. drinks beer that's named after weed that tastes like garbage. <laughs> it really does. It's so bad. That's Greg Runge. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Greg Runge TV, by the way. Hey, that that's guy. right. Fucking love Greg. I love that guy. It's it's the hair and the vibe. It's like I like sweet water, but do you guys got a uh, G13 haze? Yeah, dude, this is this is you Greg. Got the one that smells like weed. This is it's a young, young Greg. Greg. It, it really is. <laughs> this guy's got back beautiful eyes. Though. Know, back then, though, he didn't know he was gonna be doing TikTok dances. <laughs> it's Nickelback. Notice me. Look at his <laughs> photograph. He's trying to hit on the the uh, Chardonnay drinking uh, successful Asian woman. There you go. Yep. <laughs> Mm. Jesus. Okay. It's the guy from Nickelback. <laughs> All right. This is uh, Chad Kroger, fucking, baby. This is Liu Kang. <laughs> oh God. Stop it. He comes I'm... in and he's he doesn't drink. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say he comes in and gets a water and a meal. <laughs> like... He gets a water and a meal. He leaves immediately as soon as he's done, eats all his food, doesn't ask for a box, and tips 50%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> love that guy. <laughs> Fucking love that guy. Doesn't ask your... me to change one TV. Can I have your jacket? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you what, man? <laughs> all right. <Yeah>. Cool. <laughs> Next. All right. I did this one the for a specific that person that comes into the bar. <laughs> what do you think? A specific person. I, are you huh? having the same? I'm like, I don't even know. Dude, I just, I'm thinking someone because I seen her the other night for the first time in years, but she used to go to work at Mickey Finn's. I don't know. Do this nights. is a girl that comes in at like 1.30. Oh, God. Hangs out with a Definitely certain white t shirted dude. Oh, uh, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> Gatorade. So you're saying she, dr she drinks Crown Peach with Pink Whitney and Pineapple? <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> She's the one that comes in and goes, can I have a Tito's and vodka, please? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. No, the girl, that, the girl that he's talking about, she drinks one specific thing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> she, uh, yeah. But that yeah, style of does, person. She comes in here after, she comes in but after that, work. Yeah, that's. I don't think of... you probably wouldn't know her. No, I wouldn't. But <laughs> you know, you, you, I don't know. You might know her through, uh. The, the the guy from before that that sells the drugs. <laughs> if we're going on vibe only though, I feel like just by the picture, uh, it would be. Can I get one of those Tito's and vodka, please? Person? Yeah. Is this be? It, w was this one based on this because of the uh, like the made up coming in looking like a like sh she's ready for a photo shoot or something? Uh no, this was well Monday night the last time I saw her right. Yeah. So I'm just saying, like, the yeah, the person that is, they're all made up. That Yeah, I guess ready for a photo shoot, but just, like, they dress themselves like this or make up their face like this for, for work. And then when they get mm -hmm. off, they're just kind of, but they still have this shit all over their face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I got, I get you. I just want to be seen. <laughs> Let's go to shots. <laughs> it's funny because the girl he's talking about does not want to be seen or talk to people at all most of the time. Too. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm like, like she, 
She's so fucking cool and down to earth, like, I, but like, you just see, like, I want to see her you at work. You would never one time. think it looking at her, though. Like, no. you look at her and you're like, this bitch wouldn't is not even gonna talk I to me, but she's you. actually I... really nice. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Don't bring this dog with you. Like, I, I, I fucking hate people. And then like, <laughs> a, you just bring this dog around you, and all of a sudden, I'm like, I don't want your life story. You can't pet her. Just leave me yeah. the fuck alone. <laughs> leave me alone. I'm here for a goddamn beer. Yeah. Like, <laughs> listen. I'm gonna just put it out here. Ninety percent of the time, I don't want anybody's life story. <laughs> <laughs> Went today to go pick up the bottle, and this girl with no teeth is sitting there, and she is. Welcome to shots. <laughs> welcome to shots, and she is like, "Can I pet your dog? All right, pet the dog. Go away." And then she's like, "Oh yeah, well, my mama found me in the hospital after my boyfriend beat me, and now I'm living on her fucking couch, and I'm just saying that I need to rehome my Yorkie." And my two kids are with me. I was like, you're trying to rehome the kids, too? Like, what's going on? <laughs> like, what the fuck? It was... That way, it All right, last one. Fast. The conservative black chick. <laughs> this girl like wants it. a beer, but she doesn't know what kind of beer she wants. I like it. I think this or one's something. a wine as well. I, I got wine. I'm getting white wine with that. I'm not, I'm not getting white wine. I'm not getting any wine. I'm, I'm getting, getting red wine. wine red wine for sure. You're getting red wine? Yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm looking at Mick Ultra, I feel like. I'm getting for me, it's, Chardonnay. For me, it's like the lipstick. Like when a girls wear lipstick, I feel beer. like. I feel like a lot of black girls drink beer. Yeah, but like, I just feel like girls who wear like heavy lipstick will usually sip on wine. Is that heavy lipstick? Yeah, for oh. her, I think. No, it looks natural. Steve, she's black. That looks natural? <laughs> that looks she natural? Has, her lips are just Blush a wine color. Good too, I don't think that's natural. Chan. There's definitely Blush lipstick wine, yeah. on there. Okay, you know? maybe there is, yeah, but... How dare you? <laughs> How dare I? Just sips um, on a beer and never finishes it. She's a blush I mean, woman. I like that, too. Doesn't tip. I don't know. See, I'm, I'm picturing, like, a couple... I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much relating these to people that I see, you know right, what I mean, yeah. at the bar. Like, people that I know, like, regulars. You know, like, Crystal. Hey, Dune, thank <laughs> well, you for the eight bits. Kind of, Crystal's kind of an anomaly. Crystal's, like, a... I, I, I love Crystal. She's, she's cool. Yeah, she's, she's awesome also, as fuck. So I'm like, <laughs> but I'm thinking, oh, like, uh, you know that one skinny black girl that comes in and plays pool? Yeah. And she's with the oh, tall white guy with the hat. You know who I'm talking about? Like, yeah, I yeah. feel like she's a beer drinker. Uh, do you remember, uh, what's, what's her name? Uh, it starts with a J. This is from a long time ago. Uh, oh, Joy? No, 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 not Joy. Oh, yeah, there's, there's Joy, too. I didn't even think about that. Um, God, what's her fucking, Jill, uh, Jill, Jilly Bean? Jill? Oh, yeah, you yeah, You guys yeah. remember Jill? Yep. She was a beer drinker. I know the white Jill. Because <laughs> I know the white Jill. <laughs> oh, that's what I thought of too. I <laughs> you know how I'm talking about, though, right? Gail, Jewel. <laughs> oh, Jewel. Gail, Jewel. Not Jewel. I said it starts. Did I say G or did I say J? I don't J. I think you said J. Okay, well, oh, Iris? it was J. Well. Are you saying she's in? Oh, no, or? yeah, Iris, too. Iris is a beer drinker, too, right? <clears throat> Um, she drinks whatever someone will buy her. Whoever buys her drink, yeah. <laughs> you guys are never gonna get the black vote. Yes, we are. <laughs> Dude, black people love me, first of all. <laughs> all right, that's done. That's it for that segment. <laughs> I grew up in the hood, all right? By the way, we have seven topics, and that was only the second. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Okay, well, this is, uh, yeah, like I said, it's, it's oftentimes <laughs> this happens. <laughs> um, That's right. We've only gone up to 15, so. Topic three. Someone comes up to you and tells you that they love you, and they want to take you out on a date. What are some of the best yeah. <laughs> responses that you've, uh, that you've given these people? Oh, I'm sorry. I have standards. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So I had, like, there was, like, a, this poster of, like, all the reasons to say no. And it was shit like, I've got to vacuum my roof and stuff like that. <laughs> and I have used every one of them. And then also being a bartender. So, like, you know, you're when you're working, you have this personality. You're, like, you have to have that personality. As soon as I get on the other side of the bar... I promise you, don't fucking talk to me. Yeah. So I told somebody, like, literally, he's just like, oh, like, hey, you met that me, not and this I me. Was like, You're no longer paying my light bill. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. a good one. <laughs> yeah, for real, right? 
Uh, yeah, I've been. I I gotta admit, I'm not the I'm not the nicest person with like when it comes to like annoying annoying girls. I don't know. I just. I feel like, like like girls have like been shitty to me for for no reason so much that like when when a girl is being annoying to me like trying to like oh but you know we should we should go out sometime I'm just like sometimes I get a little bit like I'm like listen no that's not that would never happen ever you know what I mean I, I mean, get a little you just know I try to be nice to everybody but it's yeah. just nice impossible <laughs> nice gets you nowhere but it like it doesn't. murdered Todd yeah I good listened point. to a lot of that we'll say <laughs> so. it was a lot easier for me when I was married. Because you just have you have a fucking default thing. Like, yeah, sorry, I'm married. Yeah, you can just yeah. be like, yeah, bye. Yep. And then I, uh, <laughs> I've said I've I've said to a girl one time, oh, you like baggage? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, my boy, my husband likes me too. Like, thank you. It's yeah, sweet right. of you. What I could say to a girl if she hit on me is like, would you like to meet both of my baby mamas? <laughs> <laughs> I sh I'm sure you don't. <laughs> girls yeah. try to. S girls seem to try and hit on married guys more than single ones. Yeah, because okay. I agree. That's I because agree. they can flirt without having to feel like things are actually going to progress. You know what I mean? Yeah, but those are the. That's most a good take on it. I've never heard that. Crazy ones that you want to avoid though. Like if somebody, if you're like, yeah, I'm married, and she's like, don't care, <laughs> then you're Listen. gonna be like, you are the worst person that I need to run from. People, people want most what they can't have, right? Yep. Like, that's definitely like a pretty. It's a pretty well, a well said thing. People have said it a lot. Um, I, and I even, like, I kind of went through a fucking people's girlfriend's face, too. You know what I mean? Just because I was like, oh, oh my I God, be because I can. <laughs> but that's 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 what you're talking about. We got a right snort. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Don't put Listen, it on the no, stream deck, please. Nobody. <laughs> yeah. We got a snort sound bite coming Clint, in. Clint. Going. <laughs> Dude. If we wanted a snort soundbite, we could have gotten it from like 75% of Sammy's podcast. Oh, I know, dude, I know. <laughs> this bitch was sounding like a pig, bro. <laughs> she was snorting every five minutes. <laughs> I'm not drunk yet, so we're good. <laughs> we're good, we're good. Speaking, Speaking of drunk of. yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for shotgun, right? Duh. Oh, we, can still, we still need to continue on this subject. Yeah, I feel we like can just keep doing both, right? Yeah, we'll yeah, do a shotgun we and we'll talk about it. <laughs> Do with this and do with that, you know? Just spring right into it. All right, so I'm going to get back When I stabbed my can, it went... Oh, you want to do a shotgun? Like it's alive. Yeah. All right. Let's do lime. Lime this time. What are, are these ultra seltzers? I've never even seen these. What is organic? <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> All right, I remember now. I did it. It's your way awkward. this time. <laughs> I just learned your way. Uh, you you told me last Julia, time you couldn't do it. do not open your mouth. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> um, Damn it. I should have right. just been consistent. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking me up over here. Oh, there's a mist on that one. Did you feel that? I've, Did it reach you? It was kind of like one of those beautiful misters on the patio. Mm -hmm, except for it smells like beer. <laughs> Sorry, officer, I was in a mister. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, why are you wet, son? <laughs> uh, cheers. Okay, fine. Cheers, babies. Hey, listen. <sighs> I feel like I did so good, and then I'm like, I do this, and I'm like, no, there's still fucking half a beer. <laughs> All right, let me load in some more topics here. Oh, yeah. Slap your stickers. Chat, how was your last week? Hi. Neither of us have seen you in seven days. Yeah. Danny woke the dog up. You're right. Wow. She's back asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Puppy life. I wish I had it that easy. Dude, me too. I just want to lay on a hot girl's lap and fucking fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> she loves it. All right. Just wrap me in a blankie, dog. A beer covered blankie. Just beer. Yeah. <laughs> she knows even you better. So well. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, so like a beer soaked burrito. All right. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> oh fuck! Here we go. Strip club <laughs> stories. <laughs> 
I only it's time for strip, strip, strip club <laughs> stories. Fuck with Shots your radio, boy. 99.69.9. .9. I was a stripper, so let me tell you. You and were? I have a stripper pole in my. Yeah, I was, yeah. I <laughs> okay. worked at Molly Brown's and fucking. Old Molly, Molly Brown's. And was it true they had a one armed stripper there? Yes, they did. <laughs> I want. Okay, so she's probably talented, was, huh? This was probably like my most memorable strip club story. Working in one for a while, I and mean, there's a lot, but <laughs> there was a stripper named Kitty. She's on stage, and she had a full born like miscarriage on stage. Oh god! Oh, god. And and then she got back on stage later. Like she just fucking got off, and everyone cleaned up, and then she was back on stage like. Two songs later, <laughs> pretty impressive. That is <laughs> what that the is fuck. That's that wild. Incredible. I'm not lying. It was gross. A lot of uh, a lot of razor burn. That's why there's strobe lights. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. That's crazy. That makes sense though. Lana, like you know. You know, razor burn comes from just being in too much of a hurry to shave. Oh, I know. Trust me. That's why I near because I am a fucking nightmare of a human. I feel that. I so. want to get. I want to get a Bra uh, a Brazilian wax. Oh, can we offset for a minute? Because I did this once, mm -hmm. and I I've done it once, and it was absolutely exactly what it sounds like this this lady is like she's pulling lips apart she's like yeah Get on my whores, let me look you in the eye like and i'm at my butthole eye and i'm <laughs> telling you like <laughs> see the only reason you want to know i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna be a little bit vulnerable to tell you this the reason that i haven't done it is i'm afraid that my dick will get hard you know what? I was like, okay. sorry if I splooge on you because like, you're hanging out. You're like, you're getting all fucking. <laughs> you're all up in there. I mean, I like being touched. Like, so. <laughs> I want to do it because I like, sometimes I like to have no hair. Like, you know what I mean? I used to like in high school, I would like shave with a razor. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. And I would take like two hours to do it because if you don't take two hours to do it, well, you're gonna be fucking sack, red and destroyed. Assuming, yeah, it's you know what I mean? But I asked her, so like, I have this weird thing where like, if I'm in pain, I just laugh really loud. I'm not mm -hmm. a crier or a screamer. I she's like, she rips hair off, I'm like, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I sound like Corella Deville in this fucking thing. This is disgusting. <laughs> and so, um, but I asked her, I'm like, you know, you, you do this a lot. What's your biggest horror story? You're seeing a bunch of vaginas and shit and buttholes. And she goes, I literally have had people that come in and they don't shower beforehand uh, or wipe oh, their Oh, I can ass. never do that. <laughs> she goes, I have literally pulled corn out of someone's ass hair. <laughs> oh, God. I, <laughs> oh, God. Hold up. <laughs> Is there a sound bit for that? I got a sound bit for that. <laughs> God damn it. I wasn't fast enough. That's not the right one. He's gonna grab his fish info. <laughs> I was gonna play the it's corn one, but it's fine. It's corn. I can't. I don't know where anything's at. One and only time I went to a strip club was in the Navy. Uh, in the Navy, my friends brought me a dance Chicago. And that was her name. You never know. <laughs> brought. Bought yeah, me a yeah, dance. Yeah, yeah. I tried. Chicago. The. Are completely naked and I <laughs> had vagina all up in my face. She kept hitting on me. It was awkward. I've been to all, I've been to all nude strip clubs. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I'm not a fan of like public vagina in my face. Like I feel like a strip club is supposed to be like a a, cla tease. a classy tease experience. Yeah, you know what so I mean? I worked at one because I'm first sure. of all, if you're gonna pay for sex, it's way cheaper to do it outside of a strip club. Right. And but it's also not as it's the vaginas are not not all of them are. It's pretty. not something you want rubbed on your nose. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? <laughs> but also, you're like, I just saw that vagina on that guy's nose. And here's the and thing, like, nose. and it's on the pole, so like these girls go up with Windex, mm -hmm. and they're like, I mean, like that's that's. They're like, why does it smell like ammonia down here? <laughs> <laughs> like, you might get sick. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's not a it's not a good practice. I love eating pussy, but I don't want to eat your pussy. You're a stripper. <laughs> like, no, yeah. I just I just want you to to be sexy and rub on me a little bit. It's fun. Yeah. It's 
a good time. Turn it's classy. Me on and I want to go home. See, a strip club, like, I, a strip club, ideally should be something that um, someone who's married can go to, have a good time, and nobody gets angry. Right. You know what I mean? Because well, it's just a, both. In, there's experiences. So working out. Either one, either person, the man or the woman, should be able to go have a have a good time, and it's not nobody crosses any boundaries. Because you have like so I, when I, I plus it's stripper, way too expensive to drink there too. When I was, <laughs> when I was a stripper, I was oh, I was 18, and I lied and said I was 21. So I was drunk, but I also thought that three four hundred dollars was a million fucking dollars. I was like getting out of strip club, mm -hmm. going through the McDonald's parking lot like once. Ah yeah, I'm fucking a millionaire. Uh, and then the other girls were leaving with like sixteen hundred dollars. And like, how do they make so much money? Because they, they suck, suck in dick. dick. <laughs> exactly. So it's like that's the thing that ruins it. Yeah. Being in that environment, I would I, I enjoyed going to strip clubs, but I also know what happens at strip clubs. So it's so hard to like meet halfway and be like my husband can go, but if you have a husband that is disrespectful and you don't know that, like most of them are. They're just old guys that are like, I don't want to be home right now, and you're yeah. gonna give me attention. That's and my different. Wife won't. That's different. So, but and if you go with your I wife, know, and I know, I know, I know couples. I know married couples that like the wife lets their husband go to strip clubs. Doesn't don't doesn't give a fuck. Right. He just goes, has a couple drinks with his boys, laughs, gets a la gets a laugh dance, goes home and fucks his wife. Right, but you know there's what I mean? they're few and far between. You're talking about yeah. one out of a dozen. That's a good point. That's so good point. it's it's hard to differ. But that's like that's the ideal world of what a, I feel like a strip club right. should be. Me and me and John used to go all the time when we were like not even dating, best friends. And I used to buy him the biggest fucking fattest stripper I could find. <laughs> just sit on his lap. And I, like literally the, this biggest black woman, like you could just see the juices rolling off of Oh, her. I used to go to Cleo's and, all the time. And I was in like, Orlando. sit on his face. And John hated me because he he's you know he's not really like that. But I thought it was funny. And yeah. now I, I'm like married to him. So now it's like uh <laughs> I know I know what goes on. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I I have to I have to tell my my favorite strip club story also uh, obviously uh, I used to li I lived in Missouri for a year with uh with Doomer Tan and Credo Gaming in the chat uh, Matt and Derek hey. and uh, I'm not we live we we've lived it we lived in like the corner of Missouri Joplin if you're familiar with it the meth capital of the United States of America and uh, in Missouri yeah uh -huh. yeah and the closest strip club was in Kansas. And I don't know if you know anything about Kansas, but Kansas strip clubs don't give a fuck about anything, any rules, anything. Well, it's Kansas. So they like we to would, do. we we like had a couple girls that we took there that we were talking to. We all went to the strip club together, and we're all sitting at the stage. The strippers pull the girls that we were with up on the stage, and literally start like pulling off their pants and eating their pussy on the stage. Yeah, no, I, I... Wildest shit I've ever seen happen in a strip club. Like, not as wild as the abortion thing, but... Listen, I... Or the <laughs> that miscarriage The, the or whatever, abortion. <laughs> good, good story is that I learned how to light my, fi my nipples on fire and sing happy birthday. So I can put oh matches on my God. nipples and light them on fire and be like, happy birthday to you. That's a pretty, that's a pretty decent party <laughs> trick right there, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh I mean, God. I thought shooting bottle rockets out of my mouth was cool, but that's cooler, I feel like. Oh, that's a pretty good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. I can teach, teach you. I'm sure I could do it, dude. I've got, dude. I don't, do I don't feel anything in my Speaking nipples. Speaking of nipples, my hardest situation. Your hardest ready. nipple. <laughs> they're always hard. They're pierced. <laughs> yeah, but that's my point. whole point. Is because my dreads now get like stuck in them, so Ooh. I'm getting ready, and I'm like <laughs> having a nightmare. Car crash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go through Armageddon trying to get here. Anyway, what's yours? <laughs> Me? <laughs> yeah. I've only I've only been to the strip club twice in my life. First time was for a bachelor party, and uh, it was terrible because um, I didn't realize how expensive the drinks were there, so I paid ten dollars for a crown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's then also uh, ten dollars for a Bud Light. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then. A and then uh, we we rented By the way, like a party. It's twenty now. Inflation. Yeah. We Sorry. rented a party van, and the guy whose uh, bachelor party it was, he was calling, like, like uh, hooker services and shit like that. And I was like, man, what, what did I get myself into? I'm not doing any of this. So that was the first strip club experience. Second one was for another bachelor party uh, at a club in Daytona 
where the stripper came up to me, was kind of dancing. She said, do you want a, a private dance? I was like, yeah, let's do it. And she goes, oh my God, you look just like my long lost friend, of whatever his name was. And uh, so I just played on that. So we went to the room and I ended up fingering her and I didn't wash my hand for, this was, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> So, <laughs> disclaimer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so th yeah, this was me. the night before the wedding. I was the best man in the wedding. I fingered this girl, and then uh, I didn't wash my hand for probably like two days. So for the entire wedding, I'm shaking people's hands with my stripper covered <laughs> <laughs> pussy stripper juice. pussy fingers, bro. <laughs> and I never, I have never gone back to a strip club since. Well, good choice. Good choice. Strip I probably worked there. Honestly, <laughs> strip, strip clubs are strip clubs are overrated for the most part. Yeah. I feel like it's yeah, like I'm... unless you're in Miami and you want to go like to a to a wild ass strip club where they're like fucking pouring drinks down your like the strippers are pouring drinks down your throat and you're not paying for those drinks even though you're still paying a million dollars for every drink there when you when you buy them right yeah you know that's and they fucking question. get wild well, and they yeah, fucking that's... shove their panties in your asshole they like if you want that go do that well there's so the the ones in like volusia county for instance um there are no nude policy so it's a bathing you that's why i originally agreed to it because i was like i can get drunk 90 percent of suit. no nude strip clubs though they ban the rules. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I know. I, I've been there. <laughs> She's like, I know. VIP <laughs> rooms or VIP rooms for a reason. Mm -hmm. But yep. um, but if you go to Coco, so we used to drive to Coco, and I used to work at, like, Cheaters and Lido's and stuff like that, and uh, they're topless, so you could be, like, in a thong, and, like, I think that is, like, the most that I would want to see. That was the you first know? one Instead for me. Instead of full Lido's. nude. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> been there. Hey. Um, but... <laughs> Cheaters is where I learned how to actually light my nipples on fire. Yeah, I used to go. I used to go to. I used to go to Diamond Dolls, trashy ass place. Used That's to go there. I used to go to Cleo's in Orlando. Yeah. All black girls, one hundred percent all black girls. We did. We, we call uh, me now, Miss Cleo. Uh, no, Miss Cleo. <laughs> call me we now. We walked into this strip club in uh, in Daytona, and it was me, John, and Cooney. And oh God. John was like doing, this is when he was trying to court me hard. So mm -hmm. like, he was trying to like be on his best behavior. Mm -hmm. And uh, we convinced the bartender who was like this big black woman. And I was like, you're going back there. You're, we, we paid her extra money cause she doesn't do dances. She's like, okay, I'll do it. I'm a bartender, but whatever. So she goes back there. She comes, John comes back and he goes, all she did was tell me that all my friends are racist. <laughs> 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 she went back there, never touched me, danced in front of me, and then goes, All your friends are racist. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Fucking hell. Oh we gotta do a god. shotgun. I think that's, goes, I that's... think her dreads like just whipped my dick once and that was it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. dude I love Doom's so, Me Maybe sitting me be seeing titties in your future. <laughs> me be seeing titties in your future. <laughs> I'm in love with a stripper. <laughs> so hold up, I have a couple more shitty places to name off. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Does anybody remember H twos in Deland? No. No, H2s? That's, no. Okay, H two, H two bar. It's, oh, oh yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do know okay, that place. I know you know what it is, it. Steve. Yeah, I played there. We'll actually. talk about why. I, we'll talk about why I know that later. We but know that my band, my band played Denver. there. <laughs> I actually grew up in the house that's butted up right next to H2 Bar. Oh Pink no pony. shit! That house that's literally right next to it. Like yep. there's a fence. Yep. yep. I grew up in that house. No shit. What about the one that was on 44, um, like on the cusp of the land and? Daytona? Oh. Um, is that Soft Tails? And it was like, oh, that's not no, yeah, Soft Tails. No, Soft Tails is on 17. You're talking yeah. about the one over by the fucking Dixies. Dixies. Oh, yeah. Dixies, Dixies. Is Dixies. Terrible. I went there and ended up on the pole, and so did John. So I, I, I almost got a job I've there. I've been to every central club, <laughs> every fucking strip club in Florida. <laughs> like, I almost got a job at Dixies. Soft Tails always had that sign that was like, we've got nine pretty 32 girls beautiful in, ones and, and one, one ugly, ugly one. one. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Soft Tails is Soft Tails is actually an okay okay strip club. Eh. 
Like, they, didn't, they didn't let us in. They they're, want... like a, they're like a five out of ten. Five is a pretty good rating for a strip club if it's in, like, not, like, strip club territory. Like, if it's not the crazy horse or something like that, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. five is, like... That's no, that's fi- the hands down that's fifty percent as good as like if the crazy horse. You want an horse. STD before you leave and you paid for it? Shark, the Shark Tales one in uh fucking um. Shark Tales. Ooh. Oh, wait, that's Duck Tales. Makos. <laughs> Makos. Um, Makos. <laughs> is it Makos? The no, one in Makos Daytona? is a restaurant. No, in Daytona. no, 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 no. Wait, what are we? In Daytona, there was this hole in the Wall Strip Club. Literally, like you walked in just to get. Like it's like those like secret massage parlors that give you a fucking hand job. It was called Shark Something. Okay. It was Shark Tales. It was right there Later when you're going in, and it was aggressive. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, that's kind of here. That's how it, I was. I brought up H2 Bar because of that. Yeah. H2 Bar was a regular bar that had one stripper pole in it. Doom, thank you for the and hundred bits. Salute, brother. There, they would do basically. They did. I don't even think they had like. They're definitely not allowed to get nude there, but they, sh- they just did everything there. They didn't give a yeah. fuck. One stripper a night, pretty much. Super like. And then they had a VIP room. It's like Dixie's. <laughs> the VIP room was literally just to go back there and get your dick sucked. Like, that's all it was for. I had a friend that went and did it. Do you want the happy ending? And then, and then the same the same night, I was with my cousin. I was with my cousin Mitch and other people that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna name. I probably shouldn't even have said his name, but it was like he, it, it doesn't matter. We're all there. My cousin Mitch ends up fucking knocking a guy out. My friend got his dick sucked by the stripper. The stripper's like trying to put her pussy on my nose. I'm like, no, I don't, I don't need that. Thank you. I'm, I'm here to, to watch. <laughs> I'm just talking about the brrr on your dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeebus. the fucking the purr. Dude, don't you, even get me started can with I that. Purr on your nipple? That shit is like, why do you even do that, bro? Why do you even do that? That is the weirdest shit. Have you ever stripper had a stripper do that? I've never had a stripper do. I've had a girl do. Like, but it's, but also the uh, rolling your R's over the pants on your dick. Yeah. Brrr. Okay, I, I was gonna say weird, during like an actual dude. blowjob, but also, never mind. We're not talking about blowjobs. We're not talking about sucking dick on this oh, podcast you're again. You're an actual Hummer. No, we talk about sucking dick every time. Ugh. I love it so much. I just want to say, right, just right. real quick, the the girls that do that quick flick of the tongue on your dick, pointless for me. <laughs> I thought pointless you were gonna be, like, for me. Shout out. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's it's all it's all about if you're gonna use the tongue, it's all about nice long strokes. Long you strokes, know what I mean? not the fucking. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's not a clit. <laughs> Steve comes after Although the second. Most leg. girls don't like. That's not how you eat pussy either. So. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> See, doesn't know, work. Man. Doesn't work for anybody. Let's do a shotgun. Rubber chicken. Let's all right, go. Bring it on. All right, open that. I'm gonna do a shot. All right. Wow. Wow. These are these are fucking volatile boys. Everyone has been misty as fuck. Misty boys. Oh, misty eye of the mountain below. I love that song. Don't start. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Ah. Bitch. Oh. <laughs> Steve comes after the second lick. <laughs> it's a gift. What can I say? <laughs> right? <clears throat> All right. Dash Knight has me hooked on orange teas. Cheers orange for spot, beers. Dude. Cheers for beers. Who did that? Oh, Booty Sweat. Thank you for 300 bits. Cheers for beers, my man. Thank you, sir. What's up, bro? <clears throat> All right. So would you rather have a 30-minute orgasm or be able to come up to 90 times a day? So it's basically... I thought it said run at first. <laughs> <laughs> A 30-minute orgasm such as a pig does or be able to come up to 90 times a day like a lion. Okay, so, like, an orgasm is, like, the whole experience from, like, when you're about to start feeling it to when you're, like, yeah. okay, don't touch me anymore. It's probably close to a minute. It's probably, like, four, 30, 40 seconds, right? I would say, like, I don't know. Or a minute, maybe. <laughs> is it for that? Is that how it, From, out? like, the whole, like, the, right before I from right would, before you start okay, to know it's going it to happen. I feels like it's forever, but it's probably 30 seconds. Probably 30 seconds. So uh, that's that's 90 times 30 seconds. How long is that in a day? Well, three times nine. I'm bad at math. I don't mean to. I was th- Steve, acting this like is I your... was going to do it. But <laughs> You're I... just saying words. <laughs> it's 33. So 300. 33 minutes? Uh, no, three times. 
times nine is 33, so what, 330? 300 seconds? It's, 20, it's five 20, minutes. 2,700 right, right. seconds. How many minutes is that? We just divide that <laughs> so we, by we what, six? And, <laughs> it's, 40, it's 45 oh, minutes. 11. Okay, 45 minutes out of your day, you're just coming. So yeah. you might as well get it done. Uh, first of all, I'm going to But here's I'm the thing. I feel like a longer orgasm is better, right? All right, no. First of all, I don't have <laughs> She goes, all right, no. <laughs> but I'm, that's exactly why I'm trying to figure it I out. I don't have time for either. So I couldn't even <laughs> find a, a time. I, I'm married, honey. So literally, we the, the the combination has been figured out. I'm like, do you got 30 seconds? I got 30 seconds. <clears throat> we'll both get off. Call it a day. But I yeah. do not want to do that. I, like I'm old. I don't want to do it again <laughs> later. <laughs> I feel I feel like a 30 minute orgasm would be way better than like the whole yeah. like. Cause it, More reasonable. Because if you're saying you're coming 90 times a day, you that's like... Up to, up to. You can choose. I can choose up to... No, I, I'd much rather have one 30-minute orgasm a day. I would I get tired of it yeah. e anyway. 30, a 30-minute 30 orgasm would take everything out of me. Have I'd have to do it right before bed or the first thing in the morning, and I'd have to wake up an hour early. <laughs> like I feel like, okay, so I have ADD. I feel like I would get bored of my own orgasm. That's what I'm saying. After I'd rather have the, like I'd rather have one the, one, the once a day, <laughs> once a day, 30 minute just oh, fucking I, crazy I orgasm. I feel it. like that'd be. You got that's... 30 seconds? I got 30 seconds. Let's do it. Get it over with. Cool. Now um, I'm going to go to work. Just yeah. kidding. I don't work. <laughs> 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 like, keep going on with my day. What do you what think? About you, I, Steve? I, feel like, I feel like 30 minutes is not really that long of a time to enjoy something. Like, like you, you go. But you said it's only forty-five minutes if you do it ninety times a day. Right, right, right. But that's but like. But you can't spend all day having sex, so. You would but but you guys are saying that a thirty-minute orgasm is too long. All right, pause the deal. Yeah. No, I didn't say it was too long. Oh, it's too long for me. Yeah. That's I'd say what that said. if I had to pick from one, though, I'd much rather have a thirty-minute orgasm. Yeah, I'd like than to get one and done. Have to invest in ninety times a day orgasm. I got shit to do, Steve. <laughs> it's it's up to ninety times a day, so you can choose how many times you come. So we can do it once, but then I'll do it. Uh, I can choose how long I come? Yeah. No. A regular, a regular orgasm or... I'll do that one. I'll do that one. <laughs> so just God like, damn it. come once a day. <laughs> I got shit to do and you have to work. Someone's got to pay the bills. You know, that is, that is, a, good, that is a good point. A 30-minute orgasm might get uncomfortable. What's the most times that you guys have come in a day? You know... On vacation, like five or six. <laughs> yeah, probably like, uh, I don't want to, uh, maybe I shouldn't talk about that. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna going talk to, about going, it. Going to Georgia, probably like six times, yeah. I don't think I've ever gone past like three. 30 when I was 13 or so. 90 30 times? plus? What are you doing? Nothing? <laughs> okay. Credo, there's, Credo, you're that's lying. That's a play on words. Yeah. That's, a, that's a play on words. Uh, I wish Whitley was in here because I don't know what you guys know about Whitley, but Whitley I is the masturbating Whitley. king. <laughs> How is he? I was going to say, are they in the army? Or he used to be. He's, he, he, here's the thing. Let, disclaimer, he's married now. I'm sure he doesn't have to masturbate nearly as much. I guarantee that, that's he not still true. masturbates. <laughs> I guarantee he still masturbates. That motherfucker was, was like, yeah, he used to fucking masturbate 40, like 20, like or, 20 or 30 times a day. It was like, it wasn't a big deal. No like, way, dude. Talk talk no Tom. fucking way. 30, I don't know, 20 man. to 30 times My a day? My dick isn't built like that, sorry. No, no chance. I can, I can comfortably come twice a day. Yeah, I don't Like, even, comfortably. You know what I mean? Like, an easy, like, one in the morning, one at night. Yeah, you know wait, I mean? but, yeah. yeah, when you wake up and then when you're ready to go to bed. And, like, if I'm having a, if I'm, like you said, vacation, we're a fucking, we're chilling. Well, like we're I'll fuck on the beach, do. I'll fuck in the morning, I'll fuck after dinner, and I'll fuck yeah. before bed. Like, four times is, like... I don't even want to have I don't even want to have sex in the morning after that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's that's where it's two times the butt is normal. <laughs> oh my god, that <laughs> got a screenshot that one. Butt spot has been very choosy and and very very uh, doing well. Doing well. <laughs> Thank you, booty. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> Damn, I was gonna ask you guys. Uh, would you prefer morning sex or nighttime sex? I'm a morning, morning. sex guy and die. Morning, yep. all day. Even Papa. with the breath? Dude. 
even with the even breath. With what? Are you looking each other with in the breathing? face? No, you're doing sideways action for 30 seconds and you call it. Oh, no, no, what no, kind no, of I sex is that, guys? What the fuck is that? I don't care. I, I can't. Care about I can't breath. stand you guys right now. I can't stand you, motherfuckers, right now. No, 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 no. We're making love. Listen, you can get up, brush your teeth, you can and go call back to it bed. Whatever you want, but sideways sex is the best thing. You're both hung over. You don't have to move a lot. You just fucking. We're both like, I'm kegeling. It's nice. You're doing. For so long, also, it's I'm great. I'm a slow and steady kind of guy. Like, if it's what I want, I that's not usually what I do because most girls want to be fucking like, I don't know, like they they want rough sex. But I like fucking. I like I slow and steady. That. I love that's, slow and steady. That's my shit. I do too. But and I don't. In the morning, nobody has the energy for all that crazy no. shit. But both people are horny. And dude, I don't know about you, but when I'm hungover, like the first thing I need to do in the day to like make, bring me back to life is come. Me like, too. It's seriously like being hungover. Like it really like helps. It really helps to come. I swear to God. So like morning sex, you wake up. I I'm an alcoholic. That's why I brought this up. But uh, <laughs> exactly, we got shit to do during morning that. morning sex. You both wake up. You're like fuck. Today's gonna suck. Let's also, fucking if you let's drink do like this. Let's do, fucking it's not let's get in night. here real quick. <laughs> get our yeah. You're right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Whiskey dick is real. <laughs> what, which podcast did we talk about the uh, when I was saying that I like oral sex better than penetration? Who would I have no say idea. that? I I would rather <laughs> What's I would up, rather Melissa? I would rather, I would rather to fun? each of us give each other oral sex every day than than penetration. No, fuck no. I but I know girl. I, I, but I'm a guy. Though. I get you know it, what I mean? I get it. And I. I, I love to have sex, but like for me, like getting a blowjob is my favorite thing, and eating pussy is my second favorite thing. So like regular sex is in third in third place. That's a crazy place to be in. <laughs> I mean, it's it depends on it depends on who it's with, obviously. But I don't know. By the way, can we mention the fucking uh... <laughs> <laughs> this comment? <laughs> I know, yeah, Melissa, right? Of course, I finally <laughs> come in here and you guys are talking about coming. The fucking, the fucking shrine you guys have behind you. Oh, oh yeah. You, guys, uh, you want? Do you want Jess to put the Baphomet mask on? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Is that what you guys want? <laughs> Go ahead, take it off. There's a camera in there, so just yeah. Uh, oh, it's, not, it's not on. It's not on. <laughs> I gotta just grab more beer. I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> It's taped to the thing because it doesn't fit on the tripod. Excuse me while I get ready for our, <laughs> for our sex talk. Because <laughs> I'm the devil. Let's still make Yeah, life. baby. Let's go. I can't see it. Oh, I can't. Yeah, there's holes. It's not very easy to see out of. It's not. But I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Your dog just woke up and is like, what is going on? Who is this bitch? <laughs> Are we fucking related? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dog, donkey, go <laughs> goat, same thing. <laughs> my kid calls that my donkey mask. I'm like, a... it's a goat. She's like, no, you're a donkey. Mm, I'm like, fuck you. Do, naturally. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I kind of like being able to do this. <laughs> hey, I'm going to bite it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nani? All right, so who am I haunting tonight? It's fucking hot in there, isn't it? I don't know, I'm just waiting for Steve to come back so I can tell him what's really up. <laughs> <laughs> it's so oh, funny to man. see it on camera because I'm like looking at you, but I'm not. <laughs> all right, all right. Here, I. This is the thing. I would, I would let you put these on with it too, but I. Oh wait, no, never mind. Well, no, these aren't. The, these aren't the. the I don't have the keys for these. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because it has It'll a thing work. on it. Here you go. Hold up. I gotta. I'm gonna hand handcuff you to yourself too. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Let's Rage podcast, I people. We could handcuff each oh wait, other this is the one. That, this is the one that needs a key. <laughs> no, this this one unlocks. I'll just pretend this. <laughs> you could just wear it as an accessory if you want. So here we are. <laughs> Sir. Hello. Here. Sorry, Wait, I'm back. On. Let me Look. see if I can get some smoke. Welcome out. back, Steve. Uh, I just locked <laughs> Jess in my fuzzy handcuffs. <laughs> oh, <Hey>. all right. <laughs> and she's wearing a goat mask. <laughs> Not Excellent. This is really aggressive. Yeah, that's way too hot. Not um, like that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell do you have fuzzy handcuffs? 
We already talked about this last podcast. Why don't you? Yeah. <laughs> we talked about this last tune podcast. In, tune in to the podcast from last week. It's already up. It's on YouTube. By the way, DJ guys, Dr. if you Steve haven't already, YouTube. you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is something. I don't know. I don't have the link, so I don't know why I said By that. By the way, <laughs> this is how you take these off. There's a little thing for this side. Wait. This side has the keep side. I was going to say put this side on you, and then we'll do the shotgun. Together. But this side needs a key. Where is the key? I don't have it. I don't know where it's at. It's in storage, probably. Hold up. Can I? Can I see if I? You want guys want to see if I can pick the lock? Can you? Though? <laughs> if we get stuck together, you're coming home with me. <laughs> John's gonna be like, "All right, well, this is what we're doing." Honey, I found a friend. As long as your husband doesn't try to Listen, like. I left to go yeah. to the grocery store and came home with a bird. He would not be surprised. <laughs> He's like, look, I brought I back a slave. I came home with Danny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He's, he's probably just Is waiting. There a, hold up. This doesn't work. Mm -mm. There's a thing. The key presses something else in here. We're going to figure out how to pick a lock on stream right now. All right. So. Oh, I feel something moving. Oh, it's at yeah, DJ Darcy. Okay. Thank you, Booty Sweat. Always if you're locked the in. man. <laughs> Look, my dog's like, I'm into this. <laughs> Hit us yeah. with that sub. The dog is chewing the fuzz. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was a lock picking stream category. <laughs> oh! I did, did it, baby! It? All right, so I'd be able to do it again, right? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> We're gonna find out. <laughs> You guys have YouTube, please click that link, hit the sub. It's free. Helps us out. Helps us grow this shit. We appreciate it. In there. And then you get to see more chaos like these fucking motherfuckers over here. So. Okay, so are we going to try to do a shotgun like this? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This is not going to work, I'm but we're going to try you. it. We're going to try we it. To, we both. Do you need to borrow my lock picking set? No, I was able to do it with my grandmother's stab you in the kidney knife. Yeah, but I know. I know, you, Booty. I was on standby. <laughs> I, I was telling him that before we started. It's a little bit laggy, but we're good. It's Gucci. Yeah, for some reason, I think the bit rate think... is like jumping up and down right now. It's probably. I bet you there's something going on on Twitch. Well, worst case scenario, I can get mine off, and then I can. Yeah, that's yours. a good point. Yeah, yeah yours okay. is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shotgun time. Okay. Oh, okay. Dude. You got it. Uh, okay. All right. I'm, I'm got one left on this. this, and then I'm going over to Bush fucking beer. Bush beer. Bush. Ooh, that one didn't I, I love how when we ever we nice. have people on, they're just like, "Oh, I'm out of beer." Like, "Oh, well, you didn't plan this accordingly." Is, this is about to get cumbersome <laughs> right here. I feel like I have to like, I can't I, like move the mic a little bit so you can see what's hey. going on right here. Where? Are, where? Are, <laughs> the the stickers. Do you want it this way or this way? I don't know. Which one did you like better? I, I feel like even... you did better this way. Okay, do it. That's the way you like it? With your you like to pop it with your finger, right? Yeah. With your not I'm your not. thumb? I'm using my She's DJ like... Diddles fucking finger. <laughs> <laughs> DJ, DJ Diddles. Diddles. <laughs> hey, can you put that on the sign for uh for one of my nights, just put DJ Diddles at nine or something. I'll do whatever you ask me to, Steve. Literally. I, I want to give you a new ever. DJ name for like every week. <laughs> DJ, DJ Dougie Spoons, DJ Diddles. No one, no am, one will I care. Am DJ Diddles, honey, you can't do this with DJ us. DJ Diddles at eight. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this easy on you, and I'm gonna do this one-handed. Right, oh, I think, okay. I uh, think I'm, I'm gonna, gonna do it one-handed. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this. Are you ready? Hold up. We gotta we gotta move the, this out of the way for Ladies this. and gentlemen, this is the tandem <laughs> shotgun. Here we go. Cheers. Let's go. Okay, go. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Wait, you know me. I always have more left. <sighs> it's it'll be fine. But not a lot. I mop every time after the podcast, so <laughs> I have to. I literally have to. <laughs> No, you okay. can't clip, Booty. Now this now, is an in the moment you podcast. Have to <laughs> now you have to lock pick me out. Okay, come here, baby. I saw Don't worry, I'll clip it. In. I got you guys. Clip master flex. Go. <laughs> did she did it way faster than I did? <laughs> Damn it, Danny, you suck. <laughs> All right, well, we know who's gonna be a rogue in the next D and D com uh, campaign. <laughs> All right, but I can't put it Dude, back together. Jess would be. You should get into D and D with us. You should I, play. You should I play feel Dungeons like that's and Dragons. Way up with my us. alley. 
Listen, she doesn't have enough time to come. She can't play fucking D&D with us. <laughs> No, 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 listen. No, the I'm... reason she can't come is because she wants to do stuff like because play D&D. I, yeah. I have to get over that so that I can fucking go back to doing nothing all day. I'm really a fan of that. <laughs> all right, two more topics. Are we ready? Let's yeah. do it. Stories about uh, places that you've had sex in public, not in front of people, maybe in front of people. It's up to you, but... Uh, or weird places, you know... What do we got? I, let me start, no, actually. Can I start? Yeah, yeah of course. Course. Everyone hates this restaurant, but I have had sex in every single booth and chair at Zaxby's back in the day. Every so single one at the every Orange City single, Florida Zaxby's? Don't say that. I'm going to clip that out. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have eaten at Zaxby's or sat in a chair or a booth, my cum is all over that. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked the girl say? in a wolf mask, never met her afterwards, never knew her name in front of about 30 people in a big <laughs> party at Furcon. Yeah, well, I, I you're forgot. I forgot. Epic... Furcon is my favorite thing ever. I Epic forgot Denver Epic was a furry. In the furry community. Yep. That's Derek's, that's, this, that's Derek's little brother, by the way. <laughs> Hi. Wait. No. Derek Hines' little brother is Epic Denver. His name's Ryan. You understand that he was like fucking yep. three last time I yep. knew him. Yep. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> That's who you're talking to. <laughs> I've had sex like pretty much everywhere, to be honest with Came you. inside, never heard back. <laughs> <laughs> you got a half human, half wolf going on. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> what was she dressed up as? <laughs> oh my God, this is insane. I think everyone has had no, sex she, on the shots. She table. was, she was the wolf. I think oh, she was an wolf. alligator. Oh, okay, I thought he was. I the Applebee's girl in wolf parking lot. Don't ask lot. me why I know that. Applebee's, Applebee's parking, parking lot. Most parking lots actually. Amateur if you've been shit. there, I've been there. I, think. <laughs> I, I had set. I had sex inside of a refrigerator inside a model home. Ooh. Wait, what? Okay. Inside okay. of a refrigerator? In, inside of a refrigerator that had no drawers in it. Inside of a model home. Like, you know the model homes? You can just go inside and look at them to rent? Yep. Oh, that's impressive. Ah, actually, I did too. I did too. But it wasn't really Billy. It was like a construction site. Oh, construction so, site's a good one. It yeah. was a construction site. Wait, what the fuck makes you guys choose a refrigerator? How do you have sex inside of a refrigerator? There's not a lot of room for movement, but you can do you can do fucking you know they're up against you backwards. You know what I mean? Why did you choose the refrigerator? <laughs> we made it happen. We're like, what if it we fucked in the fridge? That's why. <laughs> it's it's for it's small, so I can imagine that. Uh. Well, listen, we we fucked in the fridge, the shower, on top of the kitchen. Like there was multiple places, but the notable At one was inside point, the fridge. We made it in the fridge. Yeah. Dude, not, booty that sweat. Was first, that was my first girlfriend, by the way. Booty sweat and it says. Was in, D. Barry Golf and Country Club. Mine, okay, so mine was a, a construction spot in Glen Abbey. Oh my god, it was, <laughs> my very we first... weren't even far from each other. <laughs> we also uh, fucked in a theaters, golf cart, uh, a fucked in a golf, golf cart course. on the golf course, D. Barry Golf and Country yeah, Club. Yeah, I did the same thing. Uh, I've done. I've um, also run naked through there a lot of times. I've done, you know, those like little pull-offs into Barry, like, uh, by Springview that have the, like, little power station places. Yeah. I used to park my truck there and have sex there. That's not necessarily in public, we, though. We it's a weird spot. We did one on spot, the side but... of the road. Like, on the side of 415. I mean... Cars are driving The most public place I've ever had sex is probably the beach. Like, I, well, I've done on the beach, like, but Like, during the mine... day. During the day, no, like, yeah, prime same. time during the day. Same. Halfway in the water, you know, where, like, you're covered for half the tide and you're not <laughs> for the other half. Done I that. I think my most public place other than the beach would be the movie theater. I've never done anything yeah, in a movie theater. I was in a skirt, and, like, we were in the back row, and we were, like... Just, yep. Having yep. a... Having a ball. What about you? What about you, Steve? You got any more? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I have sex in a bed. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, you fucked in every single booth at Zaxby's How in did Orange that City in, Del uh, in Orange City, Florida, but then you, you stop didn't... saying that. <laughs> like you, you fucking literally asshole. like. Okay, and, but and you, then you, you didn't have sex in public us. ever again. You trumped us. <laughs> Hardcore. Yeah, you beat us. You still. beat us hardcore. No, so, I didn't. like, how did you get the fuck away with that? The only thing I've yeah, ever you done did, in a, you did it in a commercial building in every spot possible. 
Okay, so, I mean, the girl... See, even yeah, Credo says it's impressive, details. and he doesn't even like Zach's That's not impressive. <laughs> <laughs> one of the girls... That's why the chicken sucks. One... <laughs> How fucking dare you? <laughs> one of the girls that I did it with was uh, my That's girlfriend at the, the time. That's why the chicken sucks. One of them, so multiple girls! Yes. Here well, we go. Yes. Damn. Damn. I was a savage I back tried, in the day. Let's listen, just say that. I, I worked at Hooters. <laughs> I worked at Hooters for three years, and I tried to get a girl to climb on the roof with me and have sex there, but she didn't want to climb up there because I had to go up there. I had to parkour up there and then let the ladder down to get up there, because the ladder wasn't automatically down to get on the roof there, because it was only access yeah. for like people who had to work on the hood vents and shit. But I knew how to get up there anyways, and I was like, I promise you, I'll just let the ladder down. You climb up. We'll have sex on the roof. She wouldn't do it though. Weird it's... flex, but okay. She was um, also a Hooters girl, but <laughs> she had a lot to take off. Okay. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's a fucking. That's a whole ass outfit. That's a whole okay. outfit. Yeah. So. Also, uh, one of the girls that I slept with in the Zaxby's booths, I had sex with in front of two of my friends. In a in a ten by ten room, as they just sat in the corner, kind of watching. It was kind of weird, but also incredible. Yeah, Fair. I've had sex in front of people a lot. Honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of put this out here. The people who were involved know and don't care. But the, when I lost my virginity, I was I fucked a girl and her friend was in the bed next to us watching. When I lost my virginity, at six, seven, sixteen. I thought you were about to say six oh. or seven. I was like, what? You did good. <laughs> yeah, six or seven. She was my aunt. No. <laughs> My first boyfriend, uh, I was 13, and the reason my mom found out is because I stole her condoms. And we used to, he's now famous. He's famous as fuck. He's the drummer to Memphis Me Fire. Are you I, serious? I dated him for seven years. We were our, Wait, each other's Wait, you're friends. serious? Jake, uh, Jake Garland, yes. And <laughs> so. <laughs> what? Yeah, I swear to God. I'm never going to listen to that band the same again. <laughs> so I'm always going to think of you, Jess. Jake, <laughs> Jake and I were 13. I, I mean, I've gotten arrested. Um, he, he, um, we used to use uh, rubber gloves because we were so young. We were like thought that, like it was like a, a form of contraception. That's so amazing. Hopefully not the ones with the powder, right? No. no. Oh my I god. Mean, Yes. Like, it was it was aggressive, but that's where the construction thing happened. Credo, Credo knows Jake too? Yeah. Oh, Jake Garland. His real name Eric, is Michael. Do you guys. not realize His that real he's real name a is Michael guys. Insanely famous metal drummer. Yeah, he's amazing. He's been drumming his whole life. He's an insanely famous person. Yeah, he's uh he's awesome. What's his I, dick look like though? Well, when he was 13, regular. <laughs> I don't know. He's also like my height. He's always been short, so. <laughs> short kings unite. You know. <laughs> Am I right, Jess? <laughs> You're not wrong, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. We have a story, too, but that's for another day. <laughs> Indeed. That, right, what's the I, next cannot one? Believe, I can't believe that. That's yeah. fucking insane. That was my first boyfriend, and we that we were our virginity angels, if you will. <laughs> this is like this is serendipity. <laughs> what age did yeah, you guys lose I your got... virginity? So um, wait, thirteen. Well, uh, mine was thirteen. I was with Jake. Freshly sixteen. Damn, I'm yeah. such a loser. I was I was <laughs> seventeen, almost eighteen. <laughs> Yeah, no, his parents. I got my me. dick sucked before I lost my like va vaginal virginity too. That was like a couple weeks before. He was a horny little bitch too. Mm -hmm. I got my dick sucked in the back of an Impala. <laughs> that sounds like a rap song. And I was like, so his parents raised him so like, um, like angel like. Then and I came in like a wrecking ball, like I always do. I like, a <laughs> so, like his parents hated me so much. We dated for a very long time, and then All and then that school, that and continued to happen over and over again throughout your life. And right? then so, you, I'm everyone's wrecking you ball. You loved innocent guys, and their parents hated you because you were crazy, right? Now I'm, the, I'm the angel child, okay? Uh, um, no, but I, I mean I've got a story about Jake's Jake for days, like. 
Well, you're on a live podcast. Got, Tell them. <laughs> I've got, I've got um, so um, I've got Polaroids because before cell phones came out, you know, you had the fucking regular pictures. Little polos. So I have actual Polaroids of us in like in band and shit together, and we were like these little baby kids. And I remember when cell phones came out. Remember those brick Nokia's that you could like get light up like keypads mm-hmm. for yep. well he grew up rich <laughs> he was like the Glen Abbey guy and I lived across high banks <laughs> I was white trash and I was in a trash area. family <laughs> so, <laughs> so like I was so jealous like I literally like half our relationship was like being pissed off I'm like Ugh, you got like almost you got a new I've you got <laughs> a new fancy a new fancy antenna and it lights up <laughs> Fuck yeah. you. Where's mine? <laughs> Sheesh. Uh, shotgun before the last uh, topic here, shall we? All right, let's do it's it. Time, baby. Let's do it. I'm gonna need a bush though. Bushy. Welcome, welcome to the bush club. After we already talked about how we yourself. Don't... Oh yeah, gimme. Give gimme. Give Remember, <laughs> listen. When you're doing this, keep, keep. This is the way you want it, right? It doesn't matter at this point. Keep it at an angle when you pop it. Because there's an air bubble. Exactly. Perfect. Oh, now you can. Fog. You, need, you need to waller it out a little bit. <laughs> oh, but don't twist. If you twist. No, see? If you twist, it creates burrs and you'll cut your lip. Go like this. Watch. watch. Yeah, well, I, I have done that. Things, I think I've, be okay. I've instead sliced of, my tongue. Instead on of it. twisting, just push to the sides and it pushes all the metal down. I'm downwards. learning, guys. I'm learning. All right. Because Steve has cut his tongue open doing that. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, shotgun clinics. Anytime you see me on spot, whenever yeah. I'm offering for free. Wait initiated. I'm gonna have to bring pictures of Jake over. <laughs> you, dude. That would be that would be amazing. What am I doing? Epicness is what are you doing, Dashma? I'm on a podcast right now. What are you doing? <laughs> you can physically see what we're doing. No, he's now. asking if I'm gonna stream after yep. this. Which is the answer to that is maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I have to pee first. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright. All right, ready? Cheers. Cheers. I spittled. <laughs> so just a little bit of back, uh, sp- back, backwash. Well, it was Here. my first bush light, and you just might as well do it's the rest a bush of it. heavy. How dare you? Just kidding. I, I'm wrong. doing. I'm doing bush light. You're the one doing. Shut up! Light. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta watch my cake cows, you know. I'm the fat one here. Um, all right. So, do you guys have to go pee before we do the last topic? This is running a little it. long. No, go pee. Because I don't know how long this last one's going to go because there's a lot of stories that we can talk about in this one. So <laughs> Everyone go pee. I'm a professional. All right. Are we peeing? Everyone peeing? Yeah. Every, I'm, I've I'm already good. peed. You got to pee? I actually might piss. Go. All right, well, well, I'll, I'll talk to the people. Right I got them. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Steve just pissed himself. No, sir. I only do Drive that when peace. I'm unconscious. <laughs> it's so funny. So, like, the people who don't know, my husband is, like, almost 50, and, like, he gets blackout drunk, and he's peed himself a couple times. And not, like, calling him out. It's kind of funny because I know he's just fucking hammered out of his ass because we drink a lot of Jameson. But I keep telling him, like, baby, you're getting to that bloop situation <laughs> <laughs> like are you gonna go and he's like no i'll just like stay alive long enough to where technology can do it for me and i don't have to go and have a doctor stick his finger up my ass <laughs> oh he's never had a prostate exam no are you supposed to do that at 40 i think it's like 45 to 50 oh is it i thought it was supposed to be yeah that. i don't know booty sweat says i've done oh yeah we <laughs> Can I say your name? Chase had finally had his first uh, piss himself story the other night. Was it your birthday? Ooh, see, Nitro Sang says it's 40. It's 40, bitch. <laughs> he said no, but I already said it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it wasn't your birthday. It was just a drunken night. No, uh, it's always a drunken night for a drawing. He doesn't like just like pee himself walking. 
but it is kind of funny because he will like blame everyone but him. He'll be like, <laughs> oh man, the white claw fell. And I was like, right where your penis is? <laughs> <laughs> I had to, <laughs> I, I've learned from my uh, my younger brother. He uh, whenever he gets blackout drunk, he sleeps in the bathtub, and I never knew why for the longest time. And so uh, I asked him about it. He's like, "Well, you know, just in case I piss myself." And I was like, "Oh my god, you're a genius!" <laughs> but if you're that blacked out and you think about, oh, I, sh I should probably sleep in the tub. Are you really that blacked out? <laughs> he hasn't done it in a while, but it's like it literally. He it's. When he's so blacked out, he doesn't even realize he's done it. Is the funniest because he will literally blame it on someone else. And I'm like, honey, you're wearing fucking cargo pants, and there's just fucking, it's just right here. And you're like, must have spilled something. And I'm like, yeah, your penis spilled something. It's called fucking urine. <laughs> this penis? Are we talking about? We're talking about John pissing penis. our pants oh. stories. Oh. I it shard happens. a lot though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Me and Steve talked about this. I've never, I've never pissed my pants while drunk, ever. Not but yet, baby. You're not, have, you're not old I enough have, yet. I have drowned on my own puke and had to have Matt wake up to see me drowning and turn me over. Oh no! <laughs> Shout out Doom. He's not right, chatting anymore, but it's okay. Wait, un unplug yourself. Wait, just, just, my, my prehistoric <laughs> fucking landline over here. Hold on. She came in here with wires. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> It's coming, Dashma, for sure. Don't you worry. You will pee What's yourself. Coming? You will pee yourself. You, sh no, you, sh I'm never you shit the myself. bed, though. You probably will. When you're no, like I 65. I, I don't shit the bed. I shit my pants when I'm awake. <laughs> I shit my pants just all the time. I shit my pants. We Listen, we don't need to talk about that. Why? I've told you. I've told you guys. If you haven't shit your pants like <laughs> at least a couple times this year, you're not taking risky enough decisions. <laughs> Credo. <laughs> poop slap I take a lot of risky decisions P child that's why we have it bowel decisions though bowel <laughs> what is that one the star was like a ding at the fucking I'm a postman trust me I've shat on lawns oh man can I tell you guys this story so when I was working for um, for screen force I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him out cause I fucking hate that dude that runs it Screenforce, which is uh, in, it's a screen company in DeBerry, who was run by a guy that, that was the mayor of DeBerry for a while. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yep, I know who you're talking about. <clears throat> he used to every time we would set up at a person's house to rescreen their pool um, cage or whatever, he would shit next to their AC unit. It's called an enclosure, and that's gross. There's so much silence. What's going on here? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was looking at the dog. It was adorable. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dog's being, you know. I keep waiting. Say, the door's been open multiple times. The Satan hasn't come. You can in call here. it a cage. Say... Why do you always got to call me out on that shit? It could be a cage. Us in the business, we call it a cage. Are you are you trapped <laughs> in your pool deck? We we call it a cage. Ask ask. Oh, never mind. I don't okay. want to say his name. I don't know. I don't work in that <laughs> fucking thing. I sub shit like that out to people like you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cock cage. Oh, what do you guys think about chastity cages? Do you even do you guys know what that is? Someone is, knows. Is that Someone a real thing though? Is. Like is, people still Sorry, do that? Sorry, it took so long. I had to pee out eight beers. <laughs> that happens. Pee, I had to pee out of my butthole. <laughs> my prehistoric. All right. Most are sissy femboys. Oh, we're, we were we were having a, a quick little deal about chastity cages there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last topic of the day. Here we go. Shady near death stories. Some some hood rat shit that you've done with your friends. Oh, I have. Some. I have been shot at. <laughs> oh my god. I have been shot at. Jesus. Just, I have been shot at. I have not been shot at. I've had. Guns pulled on me. Never been shot at. We were um, doing like some hood rat shit, if you would. 
um, in a canoe on uh, St. John's, and we thought that we found like some like cool little place to like stop and do a fire. And Listen, if you're on a boat, property. it's not hood rat shit. It's pirate shit. It's pirate shit, not a <laughs> canoe. <laughs> or, sorry, a boat. That's more hood In general, than anything. Okay. But it was um, it was private property, and um, like we were like exploring, and someone came out with a fucking shotgun, and we ran, and we had um, it wasn't a canoe, it was like a John boat. Okay. You know what I mean? Like a John, John boat, boat shit. Tiny, tiny John boat with like one of those little like fucking uh, troller motors. Troller right? motors, yeah. So we get in it and we're trolling away, but you're trolling like this. Yeah. <laughs> and so you, it, like this guy is shooting at us. These billets are going like right past my head, and I'm like, we're gonna make it. Get down! Get down! And uh, no one got shot, but it was scary. That is that's no fucking terrifying. Shot is a good part. <laughs> <laughs> it was absolutely terrifying. Uh, I got into a uh, altercation over dumb shit that I don't even know what it was about. Honestly, don't remember. Probably didn't even know when it happened. Uh, do you? Do you? God. <laughs> I don't know, you probably know who I'm talking about, but I don't know if I should say his name. His name is Corey. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Mm, you might not, though. I know, exactly. It's a different, there's, there's several white Corys. Little Corey. No, no, just no, no, just mute your Corey. mic and hit, oh. and hit her with the last name. <laughs> Grew up with him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, she knows who I'm talking about. He used to drive a Mustang, and he had a 357 Magnum named Gladys. Yep. Oh. And uh, me and my cousin Levi used to hang out with him a lot. We, we got into a lot of hood shit together. And we showed up to this guy's house because this one guy was supposed, like, this one guy had beef with my cousin. I've brought up Levi in the past, it's like, three podcasts, cousin. I feel like. It's always but, the uh, cousin. We got we to gotta have him on. We got to get him on the podcast. We really do. Levi? Uh, yeah. 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 Um, and we showed up to this guy's house, and instead of the guy showing up to fight Levi, like, 17 fucking rednecks like fucking they, you could tell they're all related and probably some of them had sex with each other <laughs> same all, last name like all came out <laughs> we this, related it was like we drove out to Lake County you know what I mean it was one of those deals or Virginia West Lake Virginia. County Florida <laughs> no I know but look, oh yeah they're all from there. Virginia they moved down here because oh, okay, you know so. tax free or whatever but uh <laughs> Yeah, and then they they all came out. They literally had chains and bats and all kinds of shit. And I was like, uh, "Sorry, Levi, I love you, dog, but we're not we're not doing this." And Corey was like, "Get the fuck back in the car." We jumped in his Mustang and bolted out of their driveway, went down the road, and all of a sudden this van comes fucking Tokyo drifting up down the dirt road, Tokyo. following us, crashes, fucking PIT maneuvers us in his fucking Mustang. They all get out get out of the car. They're all on top of his fucking car and shit, and like hitting his fucking Mustang, and uh, basically like. We're like, okay, cool. Well, we're about to get our asses killed, probably, or something. And I'm like, Corey, you you really just need to say, fuck these motherfuckers. They're in front of you. Run them over. I don't give a fuck. Get out of here. And Levi's like, fuck these motherfuckers. So he pulls out his gun. He flashes out the window. Some of them jump off the uh, hood of his car. And we fucking bolt out, bolt out of there. Probably would have died if that didn't happen. That's, that's my hood rat story. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, I, I don't have really anything. Do you anything. have one, Steve? No, I mean, I just like dumb shit I did as a kid. The only thing I've ever done is, uh, um... I can't hear him. Hello? Check, 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 check. Can you we hear can me? hear you. Oh, okay. I can hear you now. Oh. We're listening. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um the only, the only thing that I've ever done <laughs> was when I was like 15, I was, uh... Do the old like shit in a bag and light it on somebody's doorstep. But when I went up there, uh, yeah. when I went up there, I was lighting it, and it had just caught fire, and the motherfucker opened the door, and so I just I went into panic mode. So I, I just love dropped. How you did this. <laughs> <laughs> so I just dropped everything, and their house was next to like a an undeveloped like woody area. So I just ran into the woods as far as I could, which was only like now that I think about it, probably like six feet. <laughs> and so I just sat there for a second and I hear them talking about some shit and I'm like, oh my god, I have to get it. I have to get the fuck out of here. Matt and, shot uh, a hole in the engine block of my uh, car while we were driving one time. Oof. That's true. We have had a lot of shots happen at my house. Those are probably your death stories. Um, 
I think like that other than being shot at the only other scary situation is like you remember back in the day like the how we was like so you had regs and you had crip and that was it there was no names there wasn't like this is your deathbed i got some of that fucking like crazy white lady shit yeah i got, I got that fucking uh yeah. that death star I yeah got that fucking, i'm gonna get yeah. that stuff that's gonna put you in a couch like there was no nothing you either had seeds and stems or you had crip and um I had this fucking old uh, Z24, like, we called it the pirate ship, and uh, we would get, I was selling dime bags, <laughs> and I was the only white girl in this situation, so we would go pick up the stuff, and I would be in this, like, this group of, like, people, drug dealers, if you will, and there was, like, just guns all next to them, and I was just this, this little white girl and I'm like um well I taught too so don't kill me like, <laughs> if you want something <laughs> I can put something on you because they love tattoos so um I you had to like oh where is my shit today you owe me 50 bucks <laughs> like, Ooh, Steve you didn't finish your story either I interrupted you I'm sorry oh I'm sorry <laughs> no, no I interrupted good. him but yeah that was no it. it's not good it's good you it's ran, not good. I ran in the woods. I lit someone's <laughs> fucking porch on fire, and I lit. I didn't light the, the whole porch. I just lit the bag of shit on fire. <laughs> but do you know that you didn't light their whole porch on fire? Uh, no, I don't actually. Steve uh, is an arsonist. Proven. Love it. I there, uh, confirmed. <laughs> my buddy, my buddy was in a tree that was across the road from them, watching the whole thing happen, and. Uh, so I, I don't know he I, I heard go get my shotgun that's when I ran <coughs> into the woods <laughs> and then I, I I booked it out of the woods to his house which was like maybe four houses down so I ran right to the house that I was staying at and so at, I mean they should have known exactly where I was or who did it but it wasn't it my was house me. so I don't give a fuck <laughs> looks good for my house that's what I say yeah. all the time so I like kind of like a branch from this. So we, I've been drugged once in my life. Um, and it was the owner. I haven't of, been drugged enough. I have been drugged <laughs> once, and it was the owner of speaking to uh, the mic of H 2s <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! It was the owner of uh, the Glen Abbey Golf Course. Uh, his name was Swede. He's from Sweden. That's why we called him Swede. Ah. So nice when alias I was, drop there. When I was uh, <laughs> managing O'Leary's, I was there. It was Christmas Day, and he always did this. He he drove up his like BMW uh, convertible, and he was always like, "Hey, can somebody follow me home or take me home?" And I got conned into this. My girlfriend actually followed me to his house to make sure that everything was going to go right. So we get all the way there, so she takes off, and he doesn't get out of the car. He's like, let's go to Blackie's for a minute. And I'm like, well, I like to drink, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we we went to Blackie's, and- I understand that. You really have to like to drink to go to Blackie's. <laughs> <laughs> for real, <laughs> for real. Like, oh, did you want a liter of fucking Jameson? I got you. You're like, I do. Seven dollars, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, we go to Blackie's and uh, we leave Blackie's and I, I'm like, I go back to go back towards DeBerry to drop him off. And uh, he goes, no, actually just drop me off at my friend's house. Um, they're up the road. I live in DeBerry this time. He wanted me to drop him off of Mitnick, which is Doyle. I know exactly where that is. Yeah, Doyle Dirt Road. It's out by where I used to live in Osteen, by Osteen Deltona. Yeah, Osteen where I live now. So I am like, I have nothing to say about it. Okay, that sounds fine. So I go that way, and I'm like, all of a sudden, I am not able to do anything. I end up in a ditch. My car is crashed. 
I can barely fucking speak. And I, all, he Ubered home and I crawled to like the closest house and sat on their porch and they just gave me water. And they were like, <laughs> they were like are you okay? And I was like, I don't know. I am. This is the only number I know. And then um, I got away with it because I called my boyfriend at the time and he came, picked me up and then had my car towed. But it was crazy. Like my car was in a ditch. Literally, and this guy just was like, "Well, I can't, can't take right. advantage of you, so I'm gonna go home." <laughs> like, oh my see god! Ya. <laughs> Jeez. 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 I threw a retarded kid in a desk in high school and didn't get in trouble. <laughs> I used to light my desk on fire in high school. I threw a desk at a kid in art class one time. <laughs> he kept throwing pencils at my head. I was gonna say it. I didn't say it this time, Steve. You don't have to edit anything. Go ahead. Nope. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll edit it out. That. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch. Mm. I didn't have any fights in high school except for the times that I got beat up. <laughs> I was. I no was that way. kid. No, I'm not even kidding. Ooh. No, I know someone that Steve did beat up though. That we all know. Oh. That's I don't know if it's true yet. Are we talking about when his I'm gonna put it out, out there in the, no. I'm gonna put it in the universe. I'm gonna put it out in the universe that it is true. Are we talking I about just, when your tooth got knocked out? No, my tooth no, no, did no, no, not no, get no. knocked out, by the way. <laughs> oh, sorry right about there. bringing up old shit. <laughs> it's like it's still in there. It's still in there. I got hit by a monster man on steroids. He but, is a fucking monster man. But I didn't get knocked out, so fuck that guy. <laughs> Fuck that guy. I hate him. He went to jail. He deserved it. Well, yeah, he was just roid raging, bro. But also, it wasn't even my fault that night. It was fucking your husband, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's That started all that shit. What is Why? his fault at this point? <laughs> Thank you for the five gets a sub, Stash Ma. I fucking love you. I love you, daddy. But also, the guy that we're talking about that I fought maybe back in the day. I don't, I don't. I don't think it's him. It might yeah, be I him though. It him. might be him. I'm gonna I say I'm gonna believe. I wanna believe it's him. I I just I gonna I'm gonna walk up to him and just say the girl's name that he was talking to at the time and see if if <laughs> Did you do that in time? If, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I needed it. That's and see fine. if he reckon <laughs> if if he perks up to the name Shelly, then then I <laughs> then I'll know it's him. He looks just like him. He looks just like him. That's what I'm saying. It's him. <laughs> I'm putting it out there. You think it is? We're only three subs away from that goal, baby girl. Three subs. Hey, we're getting there. <clears throat> if you want to see this dog's penis, three <laughs> subs. There's, it's, a it, it's a girl. It doesn't have a penis. But... <laughs> uh, let's do a shotgun to close out the podcast. Let's, let's, All right. let's do it up. All right, guys. We managed to make this. <laughs> we've made it. This we is the longest it. podcast we've ever had, by the way. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. I talk a lot. It's my fault. Well, including... besides the after hours ones. We don't count those. <laughs> I was going to say, including the one where you sat and talked for an hour by yourself before we got on. <laughs> While eating a bag of cheese. <laughs> I forgot we ate, a, we ate a pound of cheese. <laughs> All right, but I'm not going to lie. Like, I fucking love cheese. Dude. Call me for the cheese podcast. I almost. I oh, almost wait for it. You, Steve, I almost said, would you, uh, for one of the questions, would you rather never be able to have an orgasm again or give up sweet, delicious cheese? Mm, it's a tough Ooh. call. <laughs> I'd, I'd probably give up cheese, I guess. <laughs> Actually, no. I fucking love cheese. <laughs> I love I'm cheese, really dude. love cheese. I've, I, I, at this point, I've probably, I've probably I given up. I too. I can't. I was going to say, like, at this point, though, I've given up coming, so cheese oh, yeah. all day. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't given up on coming. I still masturbate, Steve. <laughs> hey, by the way, there is a bartender that works at Shots that told me in my ear the other night that she has a crush on me. Oh, oh I love that. I don't know how much I love that. I also know, I know the bartenders, and now I'm like, mm. Who was it? <laughs> it's a full lie. I know who it is. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how much I love it. We can bring it up. She's she doesn't watch this shit. It's Elise. <laughs> Aww. No. Okay, but that's safe. That's see, that's where we go with the safe zone. I mean, that's on that's only going up. You know what I'm yeah, saying? She's she's shooting zone. upwards. <laughs> she's like, yeah. <laughs> agreed. But that's a safe zone. 
Jekka, Jekka was, was a, a good, good grade. Guess. Oh, <laughs> shit. All right, cheers. Somebody goes, my name was Jekka. I love you. <laughs> it. Oh, shit. I'm not as good without my fucking uh, cow donkey over here. Would you like to <laughs> spill on your dog? <laughs> can, I, can I get her a little liquored up? There you go. Not another. Oh, a couple drops. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> that's why we keep. That's why we keep the towel. Whoops. <laughs> She's okay. like, what happened? Help me! Help me! I didn't ask for rain. <laughs> I know, and I didn't mean it. I'm not a bad mom. This bitch is so spoiled. <laughs> uh, Jess, would you like to promote anything? You got a, you got a, you have an Etsy store? No, um, oh, okay. I'm gonna redo it all later. But by the way, guys, I do a lot of like memorial stuff. So if you want to, um, if you got ashes of like your dad or your grandma or your cat, um, which is kind of funny because at some point I had like literally like cats, dogs, grandmas, and dads in my studio. <laughs> I was like, please don't let me fuck this up. <laughs> you, like, a memorial piece that is like a cat and you meant to have your dad. I feel like, <laughs> let, let me explain this a little better. Oh, Jess make makes things. home goods and jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> and she can put your loved one's ashes in with I it. She does a lot of it. resin work, a lot of... I uh, do. So I can do things with your loved ones, and it's kind of cute and all that jazz. But other than that, no, man, I'm just uh, what's your in out. What's your Instagram name for that? Just use my regular one, because I don't want to use that one. No, you can just tell people to... Because you have an Instagram for it. Yeah, but I don't use it. I stop. <laughs> it's really, JV Studios. <laughs> it's JV. All right, JV Studios. But just find me, just because we're You know where to find her. You know where to Do find her. Do the things. Y'all know me already. If not, ask me. Ask Steve. Get some fucking. She I makes some get, badass shit. Ashtrays. Fucking. I will get my shit together at one point. Coasters. And we can fucking, all collaborate on that. I've seen all kinds of badass shit. Earrings. All kinds of cool shit. Hell yeah. I can do the things. All right, thank you guys for hanging out. I appreciate each and every one of you. We will see you guys next week, same time, same place. Until then, we say peace. Peace, baby. Hit up, hit up that thumbnail. What, is that what we do? Is this a thing? Hold on, I'm learning all this stuff. <laughs> all right, we, all right, we all share. Later. <laughs>